Midlight City. One of the last ultra cities. A sprawling metropolis standing alone against a backdrop of utter devastation. Nestled at the foot of a volatile volcano or a silhouette of smoky neon. The damned days are etched deep into Midlight's memory. When the city fell into chaos following the great eruption, political subterfuge and corporate greed led to complete societal collapse. Midlight City has since splintered into sovereign districts, each a stylized testament to the corporate power struggles and gang wars that shaped it. Skyscrapers now stand as dark overlords, their hollow windows staring down at the lawless streets, urban veins pulsing with anarchy and desperation. Yet, amid the uncertainty and despair, is an opportunity to rise above the chaos, to grasp power and with it the fleeting chance of a better tomorrow. Some dare to venture outside the city's protective wall, known as the Edge, and seek their fortunes in the perilous scorched lands. Others choose to stay within, navigating the endless power struggle. Only the most cunning rise from the ashes of the old world to claim their place in the new. For the rest, survival is a daily battle. But in the heart of Midlight City, even survival is a victory. Hello. Hello! Welcome to Midlight Madness. This is Shadows of Arconia, uh, our weekly in-person show. I'm Matt, and uh, I'll be your GM for this evening. Hello. Hey. Hello. Uh, episode, going, this is our episode four out of five. We've we've added another episode. Yay! It's our ninth one in this It's our ninth campaign. Five. Yeah, ninth cities without number, but four out of five of our Kirk. block. <laughs> the block of episode. That's a good word for it. Um, anywho, and to my left is this fella. Hi, I'm Max. Hi. Uh, I don't know if we've met. Uh, I'm playing Archie uh, tonight. I met Archie. Here, here yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm the guy that plays him. Oh, um, shit. I'm uh, the bubbly idiot uh, that's um, trying to date Razor. Bubbly or bubbly? <laughs> bubbly. You know, both. He's both, really. Carlos. Truly both. I'm glad you showed up, Carlos, because I was literally just noticing I didn't get a Twitch notification on my phone when I went live, and I was wondering if it worked. Oh. Yay. They're Welcome. Working. And I am Yuri. I am playing Damon Piltover, who is always dressed for success. He is the bar manager of was. the now defunct Kill Count and an ex corpor I am Sarah. I am playing Ty Lin, who is so distraught over the loss of their clinic location that they have gone from business formal to business casual. It's yeah. terrible. I've never seen her. Never seen them like this before. Never seen them this this like wearing a sweater. It's crazy. In all of brick yeah. time with Ty Lin. No. Yeah. Uh, and that yep. Yeah. And Cyberdoc and Healer. And I am Alan. I'll be playing Jube the. Street samurai warrior who just got done fighting another samurai. Badass. Mm -hmm. And it was a, quite a battle. But Element of surprise. Element. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys had coins right now, I'd take one away. <laughs> Similar to Tai, he is also distraught because this warrior mm -hmm. had learned his skills through artificial ways and it's just despicable. Gets it. Mm. And I'm Steve. I'm playing Brick Velasquez. Brick is actually having a great day because uh, he got his he got his lady back, which is Queen Granda, the truck. That was just yesterday. Uh, and then today, uh, I managed to free several ermine who'd been captured by stupid humans. I'm not a big fan of ermine, but I also partly am one. So, you know, mixed emotions. Um, and I managed to strip a helicopter that we stole and crashed and sell a bunch of the parts 
well, mostly just the guns and some other random gear. And now, for the first time in this entire campaign, I have almost as much money as everyone else. You have more money than I do. How much money do you have? Not a lot. <laughs> I, I have been at 375. It's a cash oh. until Until between sessions, Matt let me roll how much I sold. Rick could just now I got 11,000. Rick could just li literally just rent himself out as a truck and he'll get money for the hour. But Rick's I can't not. carry much. <laughs> Rick's not a truck. No. Oh, I'm yes, he is. <laughs> I think I think he's <laughs> too, too shy, too shy. Uh, sick. There's all of our players in our cast, and um, we shall just jump straight into it. Yeah, let's do that. Woohoo! In our last session... Join our Patreon. Oh, yeah, credits. You want to do all that? No, I'll just, I'll just do that one. Okay, great. Patreon. Oh, Patreon. Support it. Yeah. Uh, it helps support the stream. And if you're not subbed on YouTube, there's the YouTube link in the Twitch chat. You said you only won. I did, I did, I did. <laughs> Go on, sorry. All right, no, you're good, you're good. In uh, last session of Midnight City, the operator successfully rescued most of the airmen trapped in the helicopter uh, <laughs> with the help of Officer Willow <laughs> and uh, stole the, the Castro aircraft <laughs> to escape. But before they got too far, they were intercepted by two enemy Castros uh, who were on their way to complete the trade. Uh, Brick countered with daring maneuvers to the city and even a low, even a low tunnel. Just amazing stunt flying, uh, dodging bullets, dodging it, just crazy aerobatics. I can't even imagine being somebody living in the city just watching those fly by. I threw up. Yeah, yeah. there was some vomit involved. That's true. Uh, vomit, vomit. I ruined my best suit. Episode title. Yeah, <laughs> just, that was fine. Despite the uh, <laughs> despite the aerobatics and. <laughs> Uh, attempts by our, our pilot and crew here. Uh, they did eventually get shot down. It was 2v1. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the crash site, they encountered Starim Kimbo, the wielder of the Kan Kainami Fireblade, who engaged in an epic duel, as previously mentioned, with our lightning sword swordsman, Jubei. A mutual understanding sort of developed between them, but outnumbered, Sareem retreated, leaving the operator to slit their wounds and head to ground, mm -hmm. needing to recuperate and avoid the those that are hunting them and the gang wars that have recently init sort of launched, initiated, oh, how did that got happen? out of control in the, around them. Um, they sought refuge in an apartment owned by Archie and his roommate, each operator now resides in hiding with their own plans for the future. Archie, you probably have more questions and theories about who you are and or what you are than answers. Damon, you have Poseidon waiting uh, at what's left of the kill count with a captive ermine and possibly valuable information. Hi. Things aren't going to plan. You're Things starting to feel uh, like the walls are closing in. Mm -hmm. Things are getting a little too close. Um, I'm not going to say any more. Yeah. Uh, Jubei, you have discovered another one of the three blades. But the wielder is very strong and very dangerous. Mm -hmm. And Brick, you were broke. Um, you're less broke now. Less so. Uh, the ermine are all over all over the place, which is really weird. And your new companions are in as much danger as you usually are. So here you all sit in the apartment, cramped up for a week, minus a little adventure that uh, Brick managed to nearly complete, or he completed, but just barely. Mm. Uh, so real quick, let's just let's just uh, let's start with you guys having just finished some ramen, like stale ramen. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, this is a week later. This is a week later. Awesome. And how are you all feeling? Like, what are you guys doing and talking about right now? I'm <clears throat> washing dishes, um, cleaning up after them, uh, <laughs> trying to make it as trying to make the place neat. You know, know what? Like, I'm actually helpful. Oh, I live Kitchen's in a, tight. I live in a tiny space too. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, it's. I know it's how very important it is to keep it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I'm like, uh, thank you, but like, maybe you can just dry the dishes and I'll handle everything else. Well, this wouldn't be a problem if we weren't both ginormous. <laughs> also, I could yeah. take off the backpack, but it's a, it's a security blanket. <laughs> sure, yeah. No, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. 
So right, I'll go lay down. <laughs> I mean, how are we all doing? Uh, Ty is uh, crammed into the most remote corner of the apartment they could fit themselves into, working um, their tablet, working their phone, um, and I have been coordinating with uh, calling in a couple of favors from folks to strip out my equipment out of my uh, out of the back room and I have been looking for a new place to land and okay. so I'm on I'm checking messages I put out word with with Mick I put out words with Chun Hee um, and my other contacts and how would you like to roll for that in terms of finding a place that seems good? Um, let's start with a connect. Okay. Also, I did take safe haven too, so if yeah, I do have a clinic available. Oh, okay. But that is, I'm looking for a location. So this is, all right, so a connect, I need 2d6. Terrible. Uh, <laughs> one and a two, and the charisma. So added it in. So um, adding a four. Yeah. So you get some responses back. Like nobody is finding anything. Um, yeah, figured. Mick even responds with, uh, "The city's so hot right now. Everyone, the, like, most doors are mm -hmm. closed. <laughs> like no one's even letting people in to see new places right now." <coughs> um. And, All right. And, and the people that are want to know who they're dealing with. Yeah. Uh, which means you're going to be known. Yep. I have temporarily... Um, I'm assuming that my equipment is not going to fit in this apartment. So for right now, I have stashed 10,000 caches worth of equipment in Mick's back room. And that... And, I imagine that I am paying him a little bit for the privilege of that with very, very strict instructions. Do not sell this. It's boxed up and hidden among his stuff, so it it's does, safe. It says do not sell on it. <laughs> yeah. Um, as far as you know. Well, it doesn't say do not sell. It says broken shit that's definitely not worth anything at all. Please do not <laughs> steal. Um, but, yeah. And I... Need to have, uh, I'll pass for now, but I need to have conversations with both of you at pretty Ooh. soon. It, it's hard to have private conversations since yeah. you're basically in like a studio apartment. I mean, yeah. you guys Texting are each other. crammed in there. Yeah. I, did I mean, to... you all know what each other's socks smell like now. Yeah. Yep. I did want to say, um, just, I think it might be best if we keep moving. I'd probably stay at Leo's like, or... yes, I agree. Yeah. Um, well, Probably stay, if you're okay with it, at one of the other safe houses. Um, for a week, we're probably going to be hopping because of the heat. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That, I, I wouldn't mind that at all. Uh, the other safe house is in a worse part of town, but... Um, it'll do. It's mm -hmm. probably it'll do. got a little more room and a little more gear there for you. Wonderful. Um, is there... Because I know... Facility? Is there anything like a facility that you might have in one of the safe houses? One of the seven safe houses that you have. <laughs> I need to get a key. I need to get a key, but I, I think I can. I think I can get you into one. There's there's sort of a VIP like. Yeah, I got I got something. Let me let me uh, let me talk to somebody. Not to worry. Also, there might be a girl coming along, so if you can just play it cool. Here. Yeah. Okay. Like stay in your room is what I'm saying. You mean Do you want the rest of us there? to stay yeah. in our room to stay in his room too? Yeah. Leo kinda of bums me out every single time I talk to him. Not gonna lie. I just I You just, know I can still hear you, right? You're incredible and I love that you're here right now. Leo, how do you know each other? What's where where did this come from? Do you want to tell the story or shall I? You can tell the story, yeah. Uh, he broke 
my bicycle. Like, well, uh, well, okay, that's that's a little harsh on. I was riding my bike, and I he kind of came out of nowhere, and I hit him, and he broke it because he's such a big dude. Uh -huh. uh, and he was kind enough to help me carry it home. I also forget how. And that's how you guys got together. We're not together. What? We're roommates. He's more embarrassed by it than I am. Why? What? It's totally natural, dude. No, we're not actually together. Is It'd this why you so didn't awkward. go with Razor? You had a secret boyfriend? No, that's not it at all. That's not it at all. Is that well, why you want me to like hide a, in the room? It's like an open thing. That, can you just... Anyway, can we just focus on something else entirely? <laughs> <laughs> Man, Leo's like super just eating his like, bowl of cereal or something. Yeah. Like, you guys have ramen, you have cereal. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm not entirely sure what y'all have planned um i mean because the I don't know, maybe we're being uh based and all but i i want to try and make things right with razor on my end um before we go on and figure out all of our shit also the big question of the embryo that's kind of where i'm at yeah i'm a little curious about that myself because it does seem frankly that all of this began when you came into the kill count and hired us sorry are you blaming me for this no i am i knew I what am. i was getting into leo. whoa hold on uh, i did not leo chimes in you know my life got a lot harder when you came to I'm seeing a common denominator here. Hard for me to judge because that was the same night I also showed up. It could have been Brick's fault for all we know. I've known Brick yeah. for three years. I've never That's faced true. this kind I of heat before. That's true, I have known Ty for a while. From a corporation. Uh, what corporation was that again, Tylen? I said I've never known it from any corporation. Uh. <laughs> me that... either. Bill, come on. I'm not... Look. I'm not trouble if that's what you think i'm just trying to figure out my shit i'm trying to figure out who i am that's that's everything that i'm trying to do yes i i understand that and i believe you that's i don't think you're out here with some dastardly plan to, to create trouble he's not but, smart enough uh, my plus one intelligence might say otherwise <laughs> <laughs> are you sure you've told us everything about what this uh, i i know that you think the the embryo is also you it's a, it's your clone it's same genetic material it's something but is there anything else about you that it, it, this doesn't make sense and i don't like it it's you said that you were taken and changed but uh, genetically but how were you? I, then ah, I don't, I don't know, and I, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. This, this doesn't matter. It's Fine, but it, it, I, it just, looks yeah. like you do care. Is the thing, and I, I don't know. I have you in my home. I want you to feel comfortable and safe and relaxed as much as possible. Do I not look relaxed? You are on your third cup of coffee, and the beans are running out. So I'd rather have you a little more relaxed, so we can have coffee for the rest of the week. I'd rather have beans. Yes. Yeah. I usually just chew them. You get about 500% more caffeine that way. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. If you're on a budget. I have to think about that. I wish I knew more about it. I wish I had secrets because, good God, you guys seem so cool. I mean, look at you guys just standing there. <laughs> Dude, so fucking cool. Does he ever sit down, though? Like I don't know. I don't know. Does it... Like, legs just get achy standing like that? Good God, he's awesome. Jubi and I are playing the game. Of course. <laughs> it's like made out of like paper cutouts though to represent like the pieces. Mm -hmm. So he's markered in the... Yeah, just, yeah the, the dark, the, the black One square of them is circles. one of our builds. Yeah. <laughs> uh, off of that, Jubi will say, uh, RG, I... I think you just go about these things the wrong way. Do I now? Mm -hmm. I think you have everything you need to make to make all your ambitions come true. 
Sorry, it's getting really <laughs> excited. Just can you can you elaborate a little more? What what do you mean? Well, you keep yeah, on. Here we go. Uh, Jubei kind of just leans in and he he says, "You see, how do I put this in a way you can understand?" Mm. Use words of one syllable or less. <laughs> I don't know if you guys oh, understand, wow. but I'm a hacker. I, I'm <laughs> rather smart for me. <laughs> uh, he basically leads in and he, and he just says, you always think you are you you need something or you need to accomplish something in order to make your things happen, right? Like with this razor, right? Yeah. I think you have everything you need already. Some like good looks. Yeah. No, it has nothing to do with that. Oh, okay. It has to do with your s sincerity. Oh. You just gotta show that better. Hurt. Sincerity. Mm -hmm. That's what we all need. Mm -hmm. Get us out of this. <laughs> but, I mean, it might help. We might. What if we just go to the cops and say we're sorry? What cop? <laughs> what are <laughs> cops? <laughs> No. We did. Pops we saw the last one okay. the... who hadn't even been promoted. We get promoted. He's it's... a sergeant now. No, he's an officer now. It <laughs> only it's took him like six years. Yeah, I it's thought gonna he take him another sergeant because the guy gave him the sergeant's. Nice, no, give a badge, an officer's badge. Who am I talking to? Leo. Leo. <laughs> Leo heard the story several times already. Yeah, you guys have filled me he in on this. everything. Many it's times. obvious we're gonna have to go into hiding. <laughs> But I have to take care of something first. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, For the record, I've been spending the week installing that mod on my sniper rifle, mm -hmm. and no. I've also upgraded the power systems on Grondo. For the week. Do you think it's a smart idea for you to can you do leave all the safe houses? Minus two days? Yeah. Okay. If it's not safe, I still have to take the chance. But you don't know anything about these. What are you? Samurai? I've... This guy nearly, no offense, beat you. That's why I must speak to the master. And I haven't spoken to him in quite some time, so... Oop. And you see and you see Jubei kind of looking more formal than he usually looks. Mm -hmm. Like, like, uh... He has, like, the... Generational kind of, kind of, kind of... Outfit on for the samurai. Mm. And he says... But don't worry, I'll be back. Jubei, I understand. There is a competitor to your school, I mean, let's hunt him down and kill him. Yes. But it's deeper than that. I've been kind of running away from something, and I'm going to have to confront it now. What is it? Sorry. Did we not ask those questions? <laughs> I mean, we've nearly I... died multiple times together, I'm just... Uh... Jubei, you owe us some answers! Yeah, what Brick said. Well, what do you want to know? I don't know. What, what are you What are you going to go face down, man? Yeah. <sighs> well, did you know that guy? I didn't know him personally, but I knew his style. It's part of the our style, the mm -hmm. Go Zen fighting style. In Legend, there's three elements to the style: lightning. Flame and thunder. Ooh, water and, and thunder. Oh, I got that. One. <laughs> For the longest time, we thought these swords were gone. Like, and I have only one of them passed down to me by Master Gozen himself. Where this man found the sword, I'm gonna have to figure that out, but he can't have this weapon. It's too reckless. What if you, like, each become his master. He can't be taught. How not? He was awesome. Oh, no. I'll teach him a few things. Through our battle, I could see in his heart that he is he cannot go down that road. He's far past that. I feel like that's a bit like rough to say. I feel like everyone has a should have a chance at least. Oh, you don't know what's rough yet. You're right. He stole your uh, arts. He must uh, be punished. Yeah. So I feel. Did you? I feel a voice in the air saying, 
I had a rough time with your mom? <laughs> what? Rick, I appreciate you trying to lighten the mood. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's what that was. But the thing is, I may not <laughs> return to the safe house if things go wrong. So I just want to let you guys know that I will hold you very close to me. Uh, yeah. I give you the location of uh, seven of Leo's uh, safe houses and just say, um, we might be in one of these. So if you end up coming back and can't find us in this one or the next uh, five, then uh, go to the last one. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Jibay looks at uh, Damon and says, your, your friendship has taught me so much. Same. It is an honor to be called your friend. Mm -hmm. And I, only, I can only hope I do, can do the right thing. But I must go. Am I your friend? Do you do, do, you do your last move on the, the game board for you? <laughs> Actually, Jubei takes the, I guess it's the kind of like in chess. Oh, he takes the piece that's like the king's piece, mm -hmm. and he just puts it down, upside down. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. That, that mm. means he lost, right? Yeah. I do not accept this. <laughs> Although you are a worthy opponent, this is not a worthy move, my friend. Mm. Well, if I return, then we can pick up where we left off. Well, a win is a win. <laughs> 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 so yeah uh, and with that Jubei is going to leave the safe house and, and go find Master Gozen okay um, you know where he is but we'll come we'll come mm -hmm. back to that um, what are the rest of you guys doing right now or what are you so during this week Damon has three goals one is to get in touch with his minions number one number two and the dude uh, basically to tell them to secure the bar as much as they can and to lay low until I contact them the second thing I was doing is contacting the owner of the bar to see if he would provide money to fix up the bar or money for a new location for the bar. And then the third thing I'm doing is putting out feelers to look for mocks. And some note with that is probably, I don't know if I'm contacted Poseidon at this time to see whether or not that deal is still on the table and whether or not Poseidon would negotiate a favor instead of money. Okay. Um, the first three. Let's just roll four. Or the first two, let's roll four. And then the second two will roll four and. We'll, we'll role play and. and okay. Um, roll as well. Okay, so the first one is for um, the owner, right? Uh, sure, whatever one you want to do first. Okay. Oh, wait, no, the owner. Um, sorry. Name all. So you have feelers for Mox. Yes, feelers for Mox. Poseidon, owner of the bar. And what was the, last, or the first one? Uh, with my minions, making sure that they're securing the bar and laying low for the week. Copy that. Okay. Um, you don't need to roll for that one. When you talk to them, they're like, they're recovering okay. Um, um, the dude's like, yeah, uh, the, the, um, all the mercs are actually staying around and keeping the place safe. They're, they're really committed here. Uh, it's actually been really incredible. Oh. It feels like a family, weird, a weird, dysfunctional, crazy family, but. Ah, well, that's good news. Well, to, um, reward their, um, help, maybe they could have one or two free drinks. Uh, yeah, they definitely helped themselves to whatever was left in the bar. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> I figured one or two. Yeah, but um, one and two are, are recovering. <laughs> I'm sorry, two and I are recovering pretty well. Um, we feel safe here, but yeah, Poseidon hasn't left, and Razor is working on something over there. That's good. Good for the update. Um, let me know if you see any fellas that look like they could be from Shockwave Combine. 
oh, they won't get close. <sighs> That's what I'm fearing. Uh, cool. So then the next one you want to do, uh, you pick. Let's do the owner of the bar. Okay, so you're going you're to call? Probably not with the crew listening, so probably just text messaging mm -hmm. the owner saying, I could use your help with fixing up the bar or securing a new location. Um, you get a reply. Mr. Greaves is out of the office right now, but uh, I am respond. I'm his secretary and responding on his behalf. Um, I will relay this message. Uh, also, he wanted me to remind you to always call it the flower shop. The flower shop? Yeah. Code name for the bar. What was that? The flower shop? It's a, it's text. So. <laughs> It's in the group chat again? <laughs> so noted, please tell him that I would enjoy a conversation at his earliest convenience. Uh, I, will, I will let him know. So you are inviting a phone call? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. You won't get one right away. But... Okay. That's all right. And uh, next. Okay. And I am looking for information on Mox. So I want to roll a connect, I guess. Yes. We'll roll for this one. Okay. Um, you have feelers out for a little while. So I'll give you a plus two on this. All right. Awesome. That is a nine, 11, 12. Nice. Wow. That's pretty good. Um, so you've asked a lot of different people to kind of look out. There's also a reward right now. Um, uh, eventually, uh, Breaker calls you back and he's like, yeah, so the reward's up to like 120K now. Um, so that's cool. But uh, we did find a little information. I'm all ears. You hear him like walking and a door closed. Just had to make sure no one can hear. But some of the blue coat guys overheard some information from someone they kind of had to beat down. Uh, they got the code word Calypso. Interesting. There's no context for it, no information about it, really. But yeah. All right, Breaker, I appreciate the information. If you hear anything more, you know how to reach me. I do indeed, because I just did that. <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> Breaker is a valuable uh, informant, so, you know. He's also single-handedly the number two on the, the list. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. the leaderboard. Or what was once the leaderboard. <laughs> oh, I was asking. So, any, have you heard any driftings from Shockwave Combine during this time? Uh, no. Nothing new. Nothing interesting. They haven't even come by the bar. I, it's almost as if they don't care anymore. Hmm. Interesting. You haven't heard of any like political shakeups in ownership or who's taking over the chairmanship for the bar of Shockwave Combine, or I forget. There's there's some there's definitely some shenanigans mm -hmm. happening behind this, the door, the scenes at Shockwave, but we don't see. We don't have eyes in there. We're not exactly spies. Uh, there is a whole gang uh, that are spies in the city. Yeah. Thanks for the reminder. Appreciate the update, bro. Cool. Hey, I had a question for a long time. Which way do you swing? <laughs> I swing for power. Oh! Oh! Funny you should mention Damn! Put a, a lot coin of power. in the cup. <laughs> 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 Wait, I don't. You can't use it though. Not tonight. There. That's for later. That was later. fucking <laughs> great. Oh, yeah. But we. Uh, anyway, he responds. Um, oh, it's funny you should mention that. I'm pretty powerful. 
You are the number two. And mm, I was. I was. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, Breaker. Maybe once things cool off a little, you can buy me a drink. Hell yeah. Right. And he hangs up because he's like embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Damon's very nonchalant. Why are even the most badass guys of all time just embarrassed? Because <laughs> you can. You it's can be a guy that rips someone's head off, but with, yeah. if you're putting your heart on your sleeves, man, yeah. that shit can... Yeah. That's yeah. scarier. It's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. true. Yeah. Like, like the samurai say, even an emperor can seem like a fool in front of a woman. Yeah. Especially if he's naked. Yeah. Wow. Jubei <laughs> wanted me to tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, say it again? <laughs> yeah, it's break on the line. Oh. Watch out. What, what I just said, the emperor stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah that one. Yeah, yeah even <laughs> a fool look, 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 looks... We all heard this conversation. Even an emperor looks like a fool in front of a woman. No, Especially no. if he's not wearing clothes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, that was just really I'm cool. I'm gonna text you, but where do you come up with this stuff, man? I need to, I need to get the books oh. or whatever that you're reading. Oh, oh, and one, one, one more thing before I, before uh, Jubei leaves, he mm -hmm. does leave a letter for, uh, for uh, Archie to look at. Okay. Uh, like upon Sorry. death or like just a straight letter for him to read? Just a straight letter for him to read. Upon my death. <laughs> uh, yeah. Some people are like, hey, open it from dead. Um, just a, yeah. I, I, I put it in his, his mm -hmm. web he's sleeping or whatever. Cool. We'll yeah. come back to that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Do you have one more thing? Uh, Poseidon, but I don't. we could move on if you... Yeah, Poseidon might be something you actually go do. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, we'll see. So something that would have happened as soon as possible in the week is that I'm going to wait until everybody is is asleep and i'm waiting for you to get up oh. yep and go use the mm -hmm. no yes go uh, use the bathroom or something you wash your hands you come out and i'm waiting for you. hey oh. just, sh sh just come and i just sort of push you back in close right. the roll a sneak yes, yes. Both you guys. okay can i roll a note in well actually you're not yeah. taking with my hair check yes yeah but yeah. it'll be disadvantaged because you're asleep Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't worry about your roll. Okay. You're, you're not sneaking. I mean, I'm, I'm sneaking. really good at sneaking, okay. so. <laughs> Wait, what's disadvantage right. in this game? Yeah, I'm sorry. Did I say disadvantage? I meant minus two. Minus two? Yeah. <laughs> I wrote a three. You're I okay, I that's. Yeah, Locked that's going to be a way. nine. Yeah, it's a, that's a nine for me on sneak, so not great. You, but... Did you guys want to roll notice to see if you mm -hmm. wake up? Um. Yeah, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Is but I think Jubei left already, right? Yeah. Oh, this is wait. earlier. This is earlier. Week. Yeah, this is yeah. all kind of happening simultaneously oh, okay. during the week. I got uh, what's this attribute reason? What sneak? Uh, Dex. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, no, you're doing notice. Um, yeah. I guess intelligence or wisdom. It would have to be wisdom if I'm. Yeah, yeah. Let's do wisdom. wisdom. Uh, but yeah. I got an eleven on the die, so it's a ten. Okay. Oh, so you. you... <laughs> no, early in the week, Jubei was just too. Occupied. Still yeah. a zero. Tired after minus fight. You're a light sleeper because you have to be in the yeah. uh yeah, lost I would, lands. So I, out in the scorch lands. I was yeah. too tired. So you uh you you can choose to make it known that you're awake, but you do kind of pick up. You never make it known right away. You mm -hmm. yeah. just listen. Look, I you guys need to talk to you about something. Look, I why are you afraid of me? I'm like half your size, dude. Come on. I'm Calm down. Tired. A little scary. I, <laughs> you are the first Archie. person who's ever said. <laughs> They're not scared. Brett, can you can you give us a minute, okay? Um. Yeah. All right. I, I just closed the bathroom door. So <laughs> listen, I I really need that flight data, like immediately. Yeah. You have the flight data. You have the pad from the 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 woman at mm -hmm. the at, at at the the landing pad mm -hmm. look i i need to get out of this city like immediately as fast as i can like my my time is up like i i gotta go this is this is really not good and i need you to keep this between us please. oh secret secrets okay uh one thing yeah i just woke up like five minutes ago to pee uh -huh. i'm a little out of it yeah um did you say you gotta go? Out of the city, yes. Why are you leaving the city? city? Because... Listen, if you, you cannot tell anybody this, okay? Look, especially speaking. not Damon. Especially not I Damon. I wish I was hearing this right now. 
I will definitely I am not tell Damon. Shockwave Combine thinks I will I'm... not tell Damon. <laughs> I love that you guys are just talking right over Damon. Yes. <laughs> I'm having a dream sequence yeah, yeah. right now. Archie, Shockwave Combine thinks I'm dead. Oh? Shockwave thinks I'm dead. I didn't get ejected out of Shockwave. I got... Wait a I, I... Shock... My... My Shockwave Combine? Yeah, your oh. Shockwave Combine. What? What'd you do? I don't know. Look, this this doesn't matter. The point is, Shockwave Combine thinks I'm dead, mm -hmm. and with this much attention on us, it's only a matter of time before they figure out who I really am. I have to get out of Midlight City. You don't understand that uh, you saying these things prompts me to ask way more questions than. Oh, can you please, please? This is just this is all because I joined that stupid job in the first place. I got greedy. I got stupid. And I knew I shouldn't have gotten involved with anything involving Shockwave. So can you can you please just help me out here? I'll tell you a secret if you tell me a secret. If that's what it takes! Archie, fine! Leo and I did sleep together once. It was... We were both drunk. I'm embarrassed by it. Now, who are you? Here's the thing. My interest in your memory issues is not entirely academic. Sure. Do you understand what I'm saying? Slightly. Once again, I, okay, Archie, I go back to the fact that I just woke up about five minutes ago. <laughs> Archie, I don't remember. Oh. I remember I'm I remember kidding. parts of it. I. This is the problem, is that I know it was Shockwave. I know I was at Shockwave. I know they... I remember them... I remember them ripping my cyberware out of my head. And that's not something you do when you want somebody to live. But I don't remember why. I don't remember who. I don't remember who I pissed off at Shockwave. Because I must have done something really bad and really stupid. And you want to know what that was? No! I want to get out of town! I don't care! Then why I do just you... want to live! Absolutely. I get that. Why do you want me to look into it then? Because these are two possible sources I need to get to send Soledad. Midlight City is not the only mega city left. There is another city, San Soledad, that has other corporations. It has other biotech organizations. It still has a central government. It has a central government. I oh. need to get out of Midlight City and I need a ride. And you are my best route to finding a path out of this city. The flight data, the launch pad data, anything you can find. Yeah. No, I, I, I can get that for you. Absolutely. Thank you. When would you want it? Um, as fast as you can. Sure. It's not a, it's not a problem. Do you mind covering uh, food for the next couple of days? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Because that'll um, help me at least. Because. You know how I've been leaving the house, and, uh, and I don't know, it's just been a whole time. Yeah, will, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I will, I will, I'll, I'll do the, I'll do the food run. Great, I'll do the you. food run. I'll do the next one. When you guys come out of the bathroom, mm -hmm. you see Brick just standing, waiting for you. <gasps> Good God. I'm starting to regret bringing you guys to my home. Archie. Yes? Go to bed. Mm -hmm. Gladly. Good night. All right, well, good night. Time. Uh, yeah. I can get you anywhere on this planet you want to go. Can you get me to San Soledad? You know which direction it is? No. Find out, and we'll drive. Now, do you need to be there, or do you just need to be not here? I need to be... Not here, and but I'm. Look, I know that there is. I can't. I can't remember their name, but I know. I do want revenge. There's oh, Shockwave's there rival is in San Soledad. Oh. I want to find them. Well. I haven't seen my mom in a long time. Maybe if we went and talked to her and the rest of the clan, 
they might have some more information. Okay. They're called roamers for a reason. Okay. Thank you, Brick. You know, if things don't work out with Mr. Genetic Perfection there. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Leo walks up. There's a line for the bathroom at like 3 a.m.? Nope, what the hell? No, uh... There's a lot of us living here now, dude. There is. Mm, yeah. It's 3 a.m. though. <sighs> it's all right. It just takes me a while. Got Okay. Well, are you done? Can I go? Yeah, you can go in between shifts. I'll be back later. Did You, you said shifts, right? I did, yeah. <laughs> you need a shift in the bathroom? Yeah. It's a roamer thing. <laughs> <laughs> can I just get in there for like three seconds? Go ahead, dude. Okay. Yeah. And Don't I, take too long. <laughs> I just cool. kind of squeeze your shoulder and thank you. You're welcome. I don't sleep that night. I'm just working on the on gathering the data as much as I can. Okay. Uh, then that's a night you will not be getting HP back. Yeah. <laughs> you do see the just uh, blue lights uh, flickering screens uh, in my room um, before you go to bed. You know I'm not. Um, you do get a little DM in the middle of the night that just from um, Dark Mage 15. <laughs> uh, and then it says you up. Puppy Love 307 sends back. Hi. <laughs> uh, can't sleep? I changed my name to <laughs> Ghost. <laughs> and I'd say, uh, yeah, uh, a lot on my mind. Why um, are you up? It says your name just changed. Is it still Puppy Love? Like, are we is it still. Hmm? Is it... Oh, what? Who's Ghost? I changed it back. <laughs> but I it's, but I messed up the number. It's 308 now. <laughs> it, it's always been the same. Sorry. Uh, that was weird. Uh, glitch. <laughs> okay. You're weird. It's like there's a ghost in the machine. <laughs> um, you okay? Haven't talked to you in a while. Uh, yeah, I was just working on that footage a bit more. Um, and I, I was finally able to unwind i mean i, I i'm sorry it's th it's 3 a.m i i'm talking work after i got mad at you for talking work never mind never mind we can talk later no it, we should get some rest i probably won't be getting any tonight um we should meet up for coffee i would like to apologize to you uh, face like to face. the coffee shop where all of the Talk about security guards probably will be hanging out. No, that's stupid. That's so stupid of me. I'm so sorry. I mean, I guess if you want to hide in plain sight, that's the best place to do it. <gasps> I mean, we both are sneaky people. You wanna you wanna sneak around and get some coffee? Sure. Let's see. Let's push our luck. See you at. It's a date. Uh, tomorrow so is a date which we will meet. So it's 3 a.m. right now. Um, I send an eye roll emoji from the next. <laughs> <laughs> I could hear how you typed that, man. <laughs> You're typing way too fast. <laughs> you slow down. You need to think about your answers. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. So she's like, yeah, 8 a.m. Um, I just I send a smiley emoji. We'll meet at Barnes and Hobos. <laughs> They prefer to be called the unhoused. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I cool. Put a, I put an exclamation, uh, exclamation yeah. to the <laughs> to the location. Awesome. Um, yeah. Any, anything else uh, before we move on to adventures? Yeah. On my way on that food run the next morning, while I am uh, waiting for pickup, I put a call into Smith or to Smith's office rather, because it's been a week. Okay. And um, uh, which one was Smith? <laughs> uh, well, uh, oh, um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, this is taking care of my weekly payment. 
So oh oh yeah. Okay. Um, wait, wait. And that is what I'm calling is I I don't know if I I typically don't call I typically just send the money weekly but this time I do have a contact number that yeah. I don't know if that goes directly to her or if that goes I assume it probably goes to a, a line in the office um but or a line somewhere yeah give me a straight d20 just like <laughs> luck roll yeah. there's a bug that keeps attacking my face over here <laughs> I'm just watching him. <laughs> I love how Hold on, man. Hold on. Did you get it yet? <laughs> love how both of you went to the cuffs yeah. immediately. Immediately. I love that. Uh, I almost died, everybody. Uh, <laughs> and I rolled a 15. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, actually, you with a 15, you get straight through. Um, yeah. Uh, yellow? Uh, it's... Hi, um, this is, uh, Dr. Lin. I'm... I just wanted to speak in person, uh, give a quick call in to update you. I'm sure you heard about what happened at the kill count. Yeah, it's kind of get, gets around. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm happy you're alive. Yes, uh, I wanted to let you know I am alive. Uh, I will be, uh, sending through my payment on time, of course, this week. Uh, but... I am in search of a new location. Uh, oh. So, well, I, mm -hmm. oh no, continue. I'm just I'm agreeing. No, so I you're, you're just person. wanted to let you know that I am still alive and still available. Of course, if you if you need me, uh, I think it's a couple more weeks before we have our monthly. Uh, but I will be in touch and let you know when I've got uh, your equipment set up in a new location. Okay. Great. Um, yeah, keep it keep it alive and safe, and or you owe more money. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. I well, pretty well. Hello. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, and I part with another week's payment. Cool. Drop that off of my. All right. As Let, well as however much food for two days costs for this crew. Oh, you're paying for everybody? Uh, yeah, that was my deal. To, the... But we only measure food in months. Right? Yeah, so yeah. if you want to do a week, it's like, it's individually, it's 250. Oh, is this oh, why yeah. we've been eating cheap ramen all yeah. this time? Yeah. Well, why, that's, that's I where I was thinking. I large bugs. Yeah. I usually do. Brick, I admire your constitution. Thanks, it's plus three. <laughs> <laughs> Mine uh, is negative one. <laughs> there's an area behind the toilet that might no suit you. No. All right. Uh, cool. It's not like a challenge. Like how gross can I get? It's just what do I need to live? Gotcha. Well, I'm just saying yeah, that's available if you go hungry. Right. Okay. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> it's two fifty a week per person to eat. Let me uh, just what to live? That's housing, food, oh, okay. everything. Yeah. So right. technically, you're not paying for housing right now. So, by everybody, uh, like fifty. What? Couple hundred, like a hundred. Yeah, credits couple, worth of. Couple dinner. days with like a hundred. Yeah, you can okay. do a hundred. It's a good uh, okay. since shawarma down the street, uh, truck. Um, we are not eating at the good places. Damn it. <laughs> I, I would like a good it? wine. You know. Yes, so, so did I. I. We're, in <laughs> we're in the next morning now. Yeah. You're rock dead. Yeah, this, this is not fixed. Ty, I was thinking about your clinic. Yeah. I heard you calling guys to go get stuff out of it. Yeah. You know, I've done a power upgrade on, on my lady. We could install a portable med bay on the truck. And, you know, normally it'd be kind of a lot of money to do that. But if you've already got the equipment, it might cut down. We would just have to make the modifications. Uh, additionally, one of my safe houses has... Um place for a med bay if that's what you're looking for i am planning on getting the kill count back up as soon as we can well while that's in operation for that the, is an option for you for the moment we can't go operate out of the kill count we're being hunted that is awesome yeah even if it's only temporary it might be good to have a med bay we can actually get into and the truck's in the parking garage rick is there i live in my clinic is there there, there's not enough room for two people. There might be room for a med bay, but out of character. Yeah. We did this wrong in a previous session. Oh, yeah. 
my living quarters are sufficient for the total amount of crew that the truck can hold, mm -hmm. ah. which is two. Ah. Oh, mm. there wow. we go. Okay. So we didn't need to take system strain for that. Um, and I can also install additional like crew upgrades to mm -hmm. bump that up to six. Let's <laughs> Which I haven't talk. done, but I could. About that. Um, excellent. We're going to go over to Jubei. So Jubei, mm -hmm. to get through the town, the city, to get to the dojo, assuming you go straight there. Mm -hmm. Are you disguising yourself in any way? You're going to make a sneak check either way. I'm, I'm just wondering if you are going to get any bonuses. No, I, yeah, definitely Jubei puts on a disguise when he goes there. And uh, there's like a you know, hood. And, What's your hat? Uh, he he probably he probably you know the hat like goes behind on his on his chest on mm -hmm. on the back right here mm -hmm. and the rope is just right there so he kind of just hides the hat underneath mm -hmm. his hood. Okay, uh, okay. Give me a uh, sneak check with a plus one. Hmm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> okay. Um, so there's a couple of times where you have to, as you're walking through the city, you have to like suddenly change direction because you're like almost face to face with a uh, shockwave militia. Um, but you pretty much get there, as far as you know, unseen. Mm -hmm. uh, so you roll up to this dojo. It's like, it's like, the corner of a giant building. How do I describe this? Imagine a building, or imagine a really old little house with a building that got built around. This is this house has been here longer than the building, and it's held out. So they built the building around the house. Mm. Uh, and there's little steps up to it that are all aged and worn. Mm. Um, classic you know, paper sliding door to enter it. Also. So as you're walking up though, uh, you immediately see sitting on the steps, like like arms crossed, passed out sleeping, just like waiting, uh, stubble hair, dirty, hasn't showered in a while, Sin Nakahara, still mm. waiting. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to wake him up if you don't want to, but you can. Jubei, takes off uh, his coat and he puts it on the shin like a blanket. No. And then he steps inside. Excellent. So yeah, you slide the door open quietly, move inside. Um, there's some incense burning, so it smells good. Uh, the, uh, do I hear like the, the bamboo thing hitting the... Uh, yeah. So <laughs> even though it's all indoors, um, there's a little, those things it's like one of those little cheap ones that yeah. you can buy. There's a Wait. little water pump. Yeah, yeah. Um, but <laughs> it feels it, good. Yeah, it's still nice. Yeah. And uh, yeah, paper mat or uh, straw mat flooring, um, super classic uh, um, paper windows. Uh, there is a, like a, a weapon rack wall with like wooden practice weapons and a couple real ones. Um, a little a little gong for starting class and stuff. No one here except to one side by the incense is master goes in in a meditative pose or like sitting in a meditative pose uh like his hands are like crossed in a, in a very interesting way and it looks like he's sitting indian style but it when you actually look at him he's sitting indian style but all his weight is on one toe underneath him nice nice mm. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah jubei kind of like walks to the side and he does like the, the traditional thing when you go inside a dojo he bows to uh the master and then he bows to the sign mm -hmm. and, he, and he bows to himself and he just kind of stands behind the master and says you know why you know why I'm here, don't you? Patience. Student. And he's gonna make you wait. 
at this point, uh, Jubei starts doing his... He hasn't done this routine in a long time. He starts doing like the... The katas. Well, he, he, puts, he puts his sword to the side and he starts like cleaning up the dojo a little bit. Oh, mm -hmm. like, like it's mm -hmm. it's like it's pretty much what the students do before the dojo opens in the morning. Mm -hmm. And he's just like cleaning up, oh. and, and he's just he's just going through his mind what he's gonna say to the master, how he's gonna explain Kimbo, and everything. Okay, so another half an hour of that, and then he finally breathe in, breathe in, breathe. I can't talk all of a sudden. Breathes in and then exhales very long, slow, deep breath, and then uh, stands up, bow, does his bows, uh, then turns to you. Jubei. Master goes in. I've not, I did not expect to see you uh, so soon, I guess. I didn't expect it either, actually. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm troubled. Go, Master goes in. Hmm. I was able to find another one of the elemental users. While you're talking, he actually goes and picks up your sword. Mm -hmm. Doesn't unsheathe it, but starts just like mm -hmm. takes a cloth over the sheath. Hmm. This sword has seen a lot of new wear and tear. Did you fight him? Yes. And I, it almost cost me my life. Interesting. Which which sword is it? Jume explains the the flame yeah. style, the Nama, the Nami. Uh, yeah, I have it right now. The Kan, the Kan Nami, the Kan Nami. And uh, he says, um, but I could tell right away, Master. He didn't. He didn't learn the style himself. He is some sort of artificial learning. Yeah, I. In the way you describe him, I don't think I've ever seen anyone like that around here. Has the name Siren Kimbo ever come across your mind? Siren Kimbo. Siren, no. Kimbo. That's a familiar name. Many generations ago, there was a Kimbo family associated with the dojo. They broke tradition a long time ago, and we haven't seen them since. That must be it. That must be it. They still wouldn't know how to fight like us. There has to be something additional to that. No, well, yeah, you've said many times that this style cannot be mastered by just by just viewing it. You you have to feel it. Yeah, and. Interestingly enough, the Gozen style is as objective as it is subjective. Did I say that right? <laughs> you, you, you need instruction. You need to. You need an outside observer. Well, that's why I came back to see you, Master. Because I fear if I fight this man again, it will cost me my life. So you decided to complete your training circle. Yes. But he he as you're thinking he does hand you back your sword. Mm -hmm. Uh but and he he starts walking over to the other side of the room where the yeah. gong is. And, and he says the master is there no other way? You know, we've been doing this for a long, long time. And I have not found another way, but that doesn't mean there is anyone. I don't want to question the elders, but it just seems like such a waste. And he and, and and Jubei starts to almost choke up a little bit. And he says, "You're like a father to me, Master." I appreciate that. You are uh, one of my best students. I think probably the only one still alive. Wow. Mm -hmm. huh. 
Uh, he lesson. There, so there's a, a part on the wall. So the wall is like, um, uh, like a faux wood, uh, and there's a part on the wall where you have, he does like a push, and then like a palm hit on somewhere else, and then they slide a, opposite directions. Sick. Uh, yeah. And he pulls out a, a sword. Jubei picks up his sword <laughs> and puts to his side. Do you know the reason why the only way to learn the new technique is to kill the master? Oh! Yo, shut up! <laughs> this is some sick shit. <laughs> <laughs> you said that you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Jubi says, "I always feared. I never questioned it. Why? It's actually kind of stupid." <laughs> it's so there's only one person that knows the technique. That makes sense, actually. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, it Dyson. makes sense. Doesn't mean it makes sense. It, uh, Jimmy uh, says it's like the it's like in the old times where the secrecy of techniques were so sacred that if they were to go out to anyone. If they fall in the wrong hands. Exactly. He's going to draw the shockwave sword. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and he's going to get into a stance. Uh, and Jubei's kind of like shaking. His hands are like shaking a little bit. The technique <laughs> is called the sh Shinja Isan. Isen. The Divine Blade Flash. And, then, oh. and, and, now, and now, like... Tears are like running down like now that raised, uh, like face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, he he actually tears up a little bit too. <laughs> now that you know the name, you have to finish it. Best thing goes <laughs> uh, So, so he he's gonna really quickly. This technique allows you to strike with perfect accuracy, once per scene. <laughs> 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 and he's gonna he's gonna start charging his attack. And Jubei starts charging his attack. <laughs> um, uh, and, he, and he starts to try to mimic his it, the, the technique he's using. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is the worst cult. <laughs> it is. Actually, it might be the best one. Yeah, it might be the best one. Um, because yeah. the cult leader has to be willing to die for it. Yeah, it's built in. Um, Aren't they all though? But what if they die before passing on knowledge? Yeah. So the, that's, you're both that's charging. Part of the risk. You're both charging your attacks, uh, which means you get a d6 per turn. Yeah. How? Uh, this is more of a character decision than mm -hmm. a roll of a dice. How many turns? It's it's literally a western standoff right now. You yeah. guys are looking each other down, tears in your eyes, and it's sort of like who draws first. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I almost want to slay, say like time starts to like slow down. Yeah. Like, like, mm. like outside. So like, initiative. Yeah. yeah initiative. <laughs> <laughs> like, like outside, maybe if like birds or whatever are flying by, they start to fly slower and slower. Mm -hmm. Like and, the pigeon and, earlier. Yeah. Like the pigeon <laughs> and, uh, inside he's, I would say how many seconds is around again? Six. Six. Am I getting my games confused? Uh, yeah, it's hard to keep track of it. I think it's 10 in this one, but oh, 10. somewhere between 6 and 10 seconds. Doesn't matter. But again, he's kind of hesitating because he knows that if he fails, he's going to die, Jubei. Yeah, yeah. Because they can only be one. Yeah, oh they can God. only be one. And But he's also hesitating too because this is his master and he's like pretty much his father. Yeah. And. And, yeah. and, and in his head, he's just thinking about all his past decisions. He's yeah. thinking about Damon. He's thinking about Akane, about Shin outside. When, um, oh, as, as you guys are charging your attacks, like, um, he, he's still giving you advice. The timing is so crucial. You don't want to attack too early, because if you hit with not enough power, I can still finish you. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, but if uh, you wait too long. Yeah, and then Jubei kind of puts his sword here, and he kind of finishes the charge. He says, I'm ready. Okay. And then he leaps. Awesome. <laughs> uh, it's 
since you're using the attack, mm. I feel, and you're yeah. channeling your lightning, mm -hmm. uh, how many rounds do you think you charge for? I would say at least four to five rounds. Okay, so roll 5d6. You got one more d6 on that. Here you go. <laughs> Let's see right here. Six second round. Thank you, Carlos. <laughs> oh, oh, that's some pretty good okay, roll. Okay. So six, five, five. Uh, sorry, that's eleven. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen plus six is um, twenty-two. Sorry, math. Yeah. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. <laughs> um. So what you see in what everyone else would see is a really fast attack. Yeah, just like a. But what you experience is a certain focus and precision in your weapon you've never felt before, where you know exactly where to strike and how to strike, and you rush in and um, uh, do you want to, is it more of a slash or a stab for this? I, I would slay. I would say it's more like a more like a slash. A slash. Okay. Because so, we, we go past each other, like classic samurai kind of thing. Okay. So you run in and you go to slash. So you see his stance, and you guys have fought enough times that you know how he's going to attack with the way he's holding it. So you sort of anticipate that and use the ability to get past his defense. Only he doesn't defend. And you, go oh. Oh. And you with a lightning strike that literally leaves a mark across the back wall. Yeah, I uh, know. Puppy. He, he sort of as he's like falling, he he drops down to his knees, holding the sword, and then hands it to you, and then collapses. The ground. <laughs> he immediately, uh, Jube kind of cups his cups his head, and he, and he just says. I promise to continue your legacy, Master. Uh, he can't speak, but he's, you see it in his eyes that he, he takes that in, and, and then his eyes sort of slowly close. Your, your strike was so clean that it was painless, and, and yeah. And, and Jubei kind of just uh, sits there and meditates. And then you hit a door side, but what the hell was that, old? <laughs> so Sin's out there. He heard the lightning strike and it woke him up. You're, what is, uh, and we're going to cut back to you <laughs> for now. Oh. <laughs> Did you just inherit oh. a dojo? Yeah. <laughs> uh, who Actually, who wants to go next? You want to go next yeah, with, yeah. with your coffee date? Uh, well, I got a couple things. One, there was Jubei's note. Yeah. Two, see if I can hack into Ty's items. Mm -hmm. Three, see if we can get the embryo thing rolling. I'm not entirely sure who to talk to or if there's any uh, connection roll that I can make to uh, kind of draw a lead um, mm -hmm. before I go to the date. I have a whole night. Uh, okay. Which one do you want to do first? I'll start off with Jubase now. Okay. Uh, okay. The, yeah, just. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, on the note, uh, well. <laughs> Well, on top of the note, before you open it, it Don't just... Don't be a little bitch. It just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you don't even see that. Okay. No, no. <laughs> oh, my dear, I'm sorry. Okay. No, no it, it says... Uh, Ty wrote that. <laughs> the, the, it, it says, next time you see Razor, open this. It's here just yet. I'm gonna open it anyway. <laughs> Immediately. That's yeah. why you can't be as cool as Jubei. I think about I think about <laughs> the fact that technically in her profile it does have her you know, hacker icon, so that's technically <laughs> like seeing Razor. So I open up the the letter. <laughs> it's literally like one of those old-fashioned razors cutting through like uh, data. Yeah, I was like, technically. <laughs> well, inside the letter, uh, Jubei pretty much. He says this, he says, next, the next time you see uh, Razor, ponder this proverb that my master told me. Uh, and he highlights the story about the, the rat and the dragon. 
basically the story goes is that the uh that the rat fell in love with a dragon and he kept on trying to get the dragon's attention but the dragon will pay him no heed because the dragon is just a rat you know why why would i pay attention to a rat right but the rat was cunning and he knew what the dragon wanted so with enough time the rat procured piles and piles of treasure to entice the dragon to make it fly down and see him and he says be like the rat be cunning I'm gonna roll a wisdom check right now. Yeah, Damon says all fit, all all fair in love and war. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's really I was, good. I, originally, if I if I would have failed, I would have thought I need to be rich. <laughs> <laughs> Buy her stuff. But reading it, I, Man, I, there's some, so much social commentary in this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I read the. Uh, I, I got a. Uh, I rolled an eleven. And I this, just, I just nod and. And there's even like a little cute illustration on the on the bottom of oh. the rat riding the dragon. I'm gonna mm-hmm. tear that piece and hold on mm-hmm. to it for mm-hmm. my day. Mm-hmm. Um uh and then who the fuck can I contact for No, I promised I'm promised Ty. Um I'm gonna hack into Ty's uh, uh items to see if what Sort of information I can glean. Okay, I, I believe you guys already broke into the the uh, panel. Correct. So the mm-hmm. iPad, whatever, the, the tablet. Thank you. Um. Uh. What was? There was only one item, or was there? There were two, because he uh, Archie still has that original flight data from the shockwave. That I do. From the very first uh, episode, uh-huh. uh, he has that flight data, and I'm yeah, hoping that that call. has uh, coordinates. I've been wanting that since episode one. Uh, so, we made a deal, episode one. You were going to get that to me, and then the second thing is the launch pan data. Uh, you you were in that one. You made the deal. Well, I remember the deal. Yeah. <laughs> I just forgot okay. about it. There's it's been busy. Ty hasn't been terribly worried about it up until today. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah. If I can. Um, Until our heat hit six, it yeah. was more of a oh, when you're ready. If I can get that, uh, figure that out, um, hack into it. Okay. Um, is there like a? Do you have a uh, something that will let you search for data or? Um, I could do. Let's see. I do have in one of my focuses. Okay. Where is it? Expert programmer. <laughs> Uh, level two, split amongst mm. verbs and subjects, can turn subject to any one I need once per day. Um, so for <laughs> subject, well, I guess it is data file. So yeah, I'm going to decrypt data file. I guess that makes sense. Okay. Or analyze data file. Analyze would be good. Okay, I'm going to do that then. That gives me a plus one to my check. Good thing I have the, uh, mm-hmm. what what's it called? The expert, the masterful expertise, because I rolled very badly, so I'm going to re-roll that. Oh, that is a lot better. Mm-hmm. Uh, Much better. Double fixes, uh, nice. plus the one, uh, so that's 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, 17. So, yeah, you fail. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> If only you had 18. Uh, no, uh, so you do, you get in, this is a masterful encrypt, encryption job. Um, it's it's like government level, uh, mm-hmm. but you are able to break through. Um, so you're looking for, what exactly are you looking for? What I asked you for is a ride out to San Soledad. Oh, that gives me nothing. Yeah, a flight to San Soledad. So I'm looking, you're looking for information on San Soledad. These are gonna do that, and it then is, it's technically established in lore from the episode Dean was in that you mm-hmm. were absent from. That oh yes, that you were absent. From. Other mm-hmm. mega cities are so far away that Brick doesn't believe they exist. Mm. Yeah. So this is. So yeah. yes, I'm gonna look into that, mm-hmm. and then I doubt it would be anywhere within this file because it is focused on uh, flight paths and whatnot mm-hmm. uh but if there is any information on 
the embryo because I know the embryo was in there. <laughs> okay, so let's yeah. let's start with that um, that flight path, that right. flight plan. Yeah. So this is what you get um, because you did break into an incredibly hard file. Uh, you find that the flight plan goes um, or comes from the northeast. Um, and then when it's about a few miles out from uh, the city, it turns south and starts heading into the city towards the Whispers, where it is scheduled to hover for a minute. Oh. And then turn back into the city and land at one of the air towers. Uh, the same air tower you guys, the air spire that you guys actually were at. Same one. Same one. Uh, however, obviously, it didn't complete that flight's plan. Um, yeah, so it basically came from the top left, like way beyond the top left. Yeah, that direction up there. A little arrow, I like it. And then um, when it was basically north of the Edge City, still off the map, like far off the map, it can't, it would start. It turns south and head heads toward. Sorry, I can't speak. Headed towards the whispers, where it is scheduled to hover uh, somewhere in the middle. So, okay, and then return oh. to the city to Edge City and land. So, is there an origin? I'm assuming. Uh, uh there is an or from? there is an origin. Uh, but it, as far as you could tell, it's a code name. It, it's not San Soledad. Uh, it's either a code name or the name of another city. You're not exactly sure mm. um, uh, what it is. Uh, oh, and I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> that 17? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, th I think I think you should get it. Um, I gotta pull up my other notepad though. Hang on one second. I didn't write it in today's notes. There's so much lore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I'm because they're so sp spread out. I don't remember all of it, all of it, because this is like one of the earlier episodes. Um, uh, so we'll just for uh, scale for the viewers. Matt has said in the past that just Edge City is about the size of LA County. Yep, which is damn. About 44 mm -hmm. miles wide by 29 miles oh, high. Right. LA County is. So yes. it's about that size. Mm -hmm. So all of Midlight is an enormous area. Yeah. In this campaign, we only barely left Edge City to get yeah. into the red zone here. A yeah. mega city, one might say. Yeah. Actually, mm -hmm. we keep saying mega city canonically, according to the intro. Ultra City. Oh. Ultra City. Oh. One of the last Ultra Cities, yeah. says Lord Throck in the intro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You need to take, I think you mean Officer Willow. You need to take a plane just to get to the shore. Yeah. yeah. No, that's why we haven't got very far yet. Nope. Yeah. You almost had a plane. So, like, yeah, Midlight City might be the size of, like, all of Southern California. <laughs> uh, let me get right... Let me get back to you on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, sure, I, sure, sure. I don't... I'm... Um, okay. Then anything regarding the embryo, um, if there was any like, uh, uh, you're gonna have to tell me how you go about track. Oh I goodness! Don't, I don't think you have anything. So, oh, with with what well, you just rolled? Yes. Because uh, I mean, this is my only this is my only lead because it was tied to that ship. Yeah. That ship was carrying the embryo. The you do confirm that the embryo uh, that that package was on the ship. That's about it. Where do I? Is there like any data regarding like where it was headed, um, who was trying to like pick it up, or where it was going to get dropped off? Um, you know, I mean, you know, Shockwave. Right. I'm looking for Mox. So maybe we should combine interests. We should. We definitely should. Damn it. Okay. Well. Yeah. Um. So that I guess attack. Uh, yours. Yeah. Sure. In the morning. Oh, um. I'm, I'm an idiot. It's just. Uh, the code name for the uh, the city is is just like the tarot death card. 
The image? Yeah. Somebody, one of us picked that, up, that card up. Wait a minute. I think I picked up that card. Oh, shit. Oh, connection. Oh, shit. <laughs> You sly devil. <laughs> That's why I had to look it up, because I'm like, I know there's something here. It's important. Yeah, I couldn't just make up a name. It's the name I actually needed to to go look up. Interesting. Okay. Um, In the morning, uh, I'm like wired. I used up all the coffee beans because uh, I was staying up all... all. Leo's like... Where the like, fuck are all the coffee beans? <laughs> Shut up. So, <laughs> I like... You get hit in the head by a coffee cup. <laughs> uh, I, I run over to Ty, like what? wake you up, and then what? run what? over to uh, where David is, and I uh, kick him. Wake up, wake up, wake up! Is Jubei here? No. No. Jubei's still gone? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Oh, yes. If Where's he kicks Jubei? me, can I react with like a punch? Yeah. I mean, you, you react mm -hmm. how you react. I mean, I, I don't stop you, so you just hit me. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I have. There's a lot. There's a lot. We got. No, okay. Ty. Welcome. Why? First of all, I'm a wreck. Uh, there's more to this. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, second off, uh, got your uh, thing. Really cool. Uh, kind of weird. Code name Death. Card. Card. There's I mean, a card. it's there's the photo. A tarot card. Yeah. Uh, uh, Are uh, computers in Midlight City based on like imagery instead of binary code? Is that how they work? Um, sure. <laughs> it's, it's, here for Canon now. It was a, uh, a tarot card uh, death. Um, I don't know if you remember this. I picked up a card. Uh, maybe you weren't there. I picked up a card outside. You know, the little girl, the one that was missing. Yeah. Oh, there's something cool. There's something with that girl. Um, Nana. Yeah. She gave me a death card. Uh, the card in the thing is also a death card, uh, at least from what I found. Um, it, at least that's a code name. There was nothing about uh, Cincinnati or whatever uh, place you're looking for. Um, San Solo Uh San Solo Dad. Yeah. Ty's <laughs> uh, looking for ta San Solo Dad, Archie? Uh, Ty Lynn? Anything you want to share with the group? No, hey, Damien! Wait, no. Shut up. <laughs> Come over here, I want to show you something. He did say he did say Cincinnati and he did. you were the one that said yeah. that's all that. <laughs> True. <laughs> Come over here, Damon, I want to show you something. No, that's no, no. fine. Damon, I got here. all these tattoos I've been meaning to show you. Wait, actually, maybe you're you your know, distraction is not working, right? This is good. Okay. Um uh uh so you remember the embryo that we found, right? The yeah. one that was stolen, restolen by uh Shockwave uh Combine when we stole it. Um well, I think there's... I'm not entirely sure how it's tied. Uh, maybe Mox. Uh, tarot Death. I don't know. There's like a lot of like uh, links here. But none of them have been tied yet. Maybe I'm the... Archie, what the hell are you talking about, man? Leo, it's been a long night. Leo's like, yeah, I'm actually getting a little scared. Are you okay? I'm fine. Do I'm you, fine. Do you I look in like... the can and see... Oh, he ate all of the beans. He ate them... Um, Oh. Do you have a depressant drug? Save money. We might want to calm down. You know, let me take a look and see what you I've don't got. Have to eat the old as kit. Wait, no, no, no! Do not put me down. I got, maybe a, I got not, a date. Maybe some no. pillow. I got a date later today with Razor, and I need to be on my A game. Uh, oh, you got a date. Yeah, definitely. 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 Uh, All um, right. I hand you uh, some pills, like a pillow. Just take one of these. Don't my don't take that until I see what it is. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> but just drink some water, okay? Drink some. Yeah, I'll drink a lot of water. Uh, I promise. Um, but but uh, I, I gotta leave right now. But death card, uh, death tarot card. Remember that. Um, and for you, Mox embryo connected with shock, shockwave combine. Mm, we need to talk. Yes, I figured Mox was after us for. A... You're talking too slow. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> when when Archie leaves, I, I throw just, my pillow at Archie. <laughs> when Archie leaves, I just look around at everyone, including Leo, and just go. So are we gonna ditch that guy or what? <laughs> <laughs> well, he drank uh, all the coffee, so now we have to go get, get some. I think he ate all the coffee. Oh, that That's... is not going to come out good. No, it's not. <laughs> His date oh. with Razor. Yeah, there's gonna be a constitution. Right. Actually, let's place a bet. Do you think his date with Razor right. is going to be because he has to go on the run? We're gonna end with you. Uh, <laughs> do you go on foot? 
Wait, I'm booking it. Oh, no, no, you have her bike still. So. Oh, no. Oh, do I? Oh, damn, yeah. I haven't even... Yeah, I met her. Yeah, I use the bike. <laughs> okay, so you have the little scooter. I give it back to her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you arrive at the shop. Um, there's, like, half the people here are indeed Shockwave employees. Uh, you walk. I'm to go in incognito. Yeah, oh you walk gosh. up, uh, and then at the end, you know, at the end of the, the, uh, the heck was it called? Uh, Barnes and Hobos, um, is Razor sitting there at her computer. And uniquely as I can. But no, no, tell, tell me what it is. Well, tell me, tell me what you're seeing. So that that was a, uh, six, seven, eight, but, but I can, I re-roll, uh, fail sneak checks, uh, okay. because of, uh, something, uh, <laughs> that's, so that's 11, okay. uh, 11, 12, 12. What, how do you sneak through a sort of coffee shop? How do you do it? You do it. I just want to know how you do it for the, for flavor. Can I suggest that all Archie has to do to avoid being noticed by Razor is turn off the lights on his jacket? <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely what I do. All right, turn it off. Wait, you're trying to hide from her or you're trying to hide from the shockwave? I'm trying to hide from everyone. So, yes, okay. I definitely... Uh, actually, I'm going to invert my uh, jacket. Okay. Um, so now it shows uh, uh, the just all black um, with a hint of uh, red showing from uh, beneath the... The coat. Um, I am going to noticing the cameras. Uh, be sure to kind of just stoop, uh, sag my shoulders. I'm gonna dip my head down, um, and because it is uh, a biz, it's a coffee shop. It's busy, people in line, and everything. I'm gonna expertly move like behind them when appropriate. Um, uh, whenever somebody's uh, moving um, in the way where the camera is going to be, I um, I make sure to kind of go where they are um, so their body blocks me and then expertly kind of just like maneuver my way to where she's at. Awesome. Uh, what do you say when you first get up to her? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did actually sneak out sneak her so she, you, you startle her and uh, she closed her laptop real quick. Oh, hey. And we're gonna go to break. Hey, <laughs> See everyone, in ten minutes. Thanks for nice. watching. We'll be back we'll soon. Be soon. Real quick. Ah. Welcome back, Carlos. And hey, hey. hey. hey Carlos. Uh, really, just doing it Carlos, thank for, you for finding the uh, goat fetch for me. For you. Yep. Yeah. yeah. We're here for yes, you. We're here for you, Carlos. Just you. Just you. No one else. <laughs> That's not true. We also like Deltron. Oh, that's true. Yeah, we and also Josh like Delta. Joshua okay. comes by. And Tater and Gibbs. Oh, Tater right. and Gibbs are the best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm here for all of you. Yeah, all, every, all right, fine, everybody. Everybody. Uh, awesome. Remember that one time when Cindy came by? That was great. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh... <laughs> so you say hi, and you startle her, and she closed her laptop. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. First, scary. Oh, come on, keep it down. Keep it down. <sighs> I'm sorry for scaring you. Lower. Um, yeah. totally <laughs> <messing with you. laughs> uh, Pixie, I know, right? Why do you look so bad right now? Uh, I'm like my leg is like bouncing and everything. Um, well, I stayed up all la last, up late last night. And you couldn't take a shower? There was a lot to do. I was, sorry, I was lost. Bathroom. I was lost yeah. in literally everything. I was kind of originally just like go to sleep and everything, and then Ty ended up waking me up. At... Well, here, have a seat. Stop looking weird. Yeah, oh. What it's gonna look? Thank you. Uh, I got you a coffee. <laughs> See, it didn't. Oh. Uh... <laughs> well, uh, Thank uh, you. Uh, when you sit down, oh, uh, it's gross. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all the coffee is bad. Oh course. yes. I mean, well, you're probably used to it, honestly. Ooh. Give me. Sorry. Give me a physical save. No, God. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> yeah, it's the second you sit down. <laughs> yes, please let him rip a loud one. <laughs> I made myself a bullet in front of this woman. Two at a time. You made.
me the choice to eat all the coffee, dude. <laughs> I haven't to a friend of mine. Uh, the second you sit down, it's not <laughs> it's not terrible, but a little bit comes out. And you feel the need to really continue. I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> Where are you going? You just got here. I know. I just give me give me just a second. But look at this picture for me and then I will not go to the bathroom. Wait, so you get with the rat and dragon? She just she looks at it. Um Okay, yeah, you, you go to the bathroom. Um, I assume you're cleaning yourself up a little. Yeah, I throw away my underwear. <laughs> uh, give me a sneak action real quick. I just want to... Oh, God. Oh. Uh, six, seven, eight. Um, nine. Nine. Cool. You barely managed to hide it from her as you're leaving. Okay. Nice. I wasn't going to be too mean on you. <laughs> Save. Uh, you say, yeah, you save yourself. Okay. Uh, I, I return, uh, yeah, <laughs> without my underwear. <laughs> um, you seem lighter. Uh, I feel a lot lighter. Wow. It's, I'm so sorry. It has been a stressful couple of days. People are blaming it on me, but honestly, I gotta say, it's, it's, it's all Damon's fault. Good God, I've been so stressed. Uh, I am so sorry. I'm not normally... Well, I am this awkward. Um, just... I noticed. I really like you. I really like talking mm. to you and spending my... Just spending time being around you. Um, That's... I like, I like being around you too. That's really nice. Uh, Even when you're a total dork, no. you break everything. I yeah. I would say I've been working on it for a long time, but I I genuinely don't know. Um, cool. We're done with mushy stuff, though. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, what's with the rat and the dragon, by the way? Am I a rat? No, uh, I'm the rat. Oh, I kind of um, like rats. Oh, I like rats. Okay, that works. Oh, that works. Uh, wait, I'm the dragon. You are the dragon. Okay. Uh, it's more mushy stuff though, so unless you wanna. No, see, I don't mind working um, at all. I just didn't want it to always be work, and that was, yes, I'm just glad that you're willing to make it not all work. But I found some stuff, so I'm gonna show you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, uh, and she pulls up uh, one of the security cameras from the the interior of the club. Mm. Uh, it's like really staticky because it's like recovered, recovered data. Mm. Um, uh, she, she shows you that, uh, uh, like she scrolls through it a bunch and there's, then you see the, the two of the shockwave guys come in, uh, with Mox. Uh, two of the shockwave guys is, there one that I may have in, in... It's the, it's the, the, the same guys that were with them before. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, uh, they go straight, they're like, they're like holding a device and they go straight back to the, uh, the the door to uh ty's lab and um kind of put it towards the door and like you see mox point you can't hear anything uh and then that's when um number one comes he's like tries to stop them and that's when the dude like takes and like breaks like pretty much just breaks his arm by moving him uh and then like he cut he like gets punched in the face mm -hmm. um yeah and then they <laughs> go in and you can't see what happens inside i get close to the uh the camera one to kind of like shield it from other people um mm -hmm. like looking down but also to press my body um up against uh, uh razor um i think she allows it <laughs> um but she's like you can't tell if she's playing it off or just not noticing yeah uh mox huh mox yeah i mean I, I feel like we we kind of all saw that coming at this point I saw none of this coming. Oh. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, the one thing that irritates me oh so very much is that they stole the embryo. And I keep my uh, what? embryo. Um, you were expecting? You can't keep a no. secret word right there. Did I tell this man my So, secret? I think if you and I are going to keep seeing each other, there's something you should know about me. Um, wait, 
Yes. It might be more fun if I guess. Absolutely. Uh, I wish there were shots in front of us so we could take shots if, like you got it right and I got it wrong, but that's fine. Well, oh, I never mind. There's actually people looking at us, so maybe we should just keep keep talking. Go. Gotcha. Um, I don't actually know. Who I am. Metaphorically, no. Uh, so. I was genetically enhanced to appear to be the son of a uh, of like you were you were altered you were yeah I was okay. altered okay um and so you're not normally this handsome I don't know so if we have kids we have no idea what they're gonna look like <laughs> oh or even if I can have kids I that's another reality it's good. she's taking notes. <laughs> Pros, cons. Uh, That's exactly. Yeah. yeah uh, I mean, there's always adoption, you know. Be very. There's a lot of adoption options. Yeah. Uh, but no, the the More the, than you think. the embryo I'm talking about is. Um, I think either that is the real Archie Carter, or that is. Me and the gene spliced me to be a gen more genetic perfection. I don't know. I think I got the looks. I just didn't get a lot of the attributes that I think they wanted. Like, like down there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got all ten of my toes. No, like a uh, higher. Than that. <laughs> oh, everything's good there, right? Yeah, no, it's great. Okay, good, good. Okay. How's it going Should over there, <laughs> Oh, sorry. Uh, it's Brick. Damon's sexy. Bring back more coffee. Everyone's sexy. Me. We're not going to go to that house. There is another safe house uh, near here. If you want to go there. Uh, there's. It's got booze. Wait, you have a safe house? And you, we, we're meeting here at the coffee shop in I front of... That'd be cool, because, like, you know, we're sneaking. Just... Right, let's go to the safe house. Fine, fine. New thread. Ooh. How's it going over there, Razor? <laughs> <laughs> we're walking and talking. Uh, 50 50. <laughs> we're, we're walking and talking uh, okay. over over to the uh, safe house. Um, the other safe house where you take your hookups. Uh, no. <laughs> it's where I keep my really cool guns. <laughs> um, is that a pickup line? No, is no. That way you tell all your ladies when you take them back to your safe house? Honestly, no. I don't sleep around a lot. Okay. Uh, Leo would disagree. Uh, all right, so you guys go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I I share I share with her basically all that's kind of just been happening with all of us, um, and try to see like where if she can be a, like I don't know, not any use, but have any <laughs> input on uh, on the happenings of the group. Okay. Oh, and uh, yeah, you had, you're talking, and then she just like, like mid sentence, like, oh, there's one more thing. She totally remembers, um, and she shows you another camera, um, and it's the attack, the, the Gatling gun attack. Mm. Uh, look at, it's so cool. You guys are like, well, you kind of, you just get instantly taken out. That's that was <laughs> perfect guy. The, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> But everyone else looked really cool. Uh, um, was that what you wanted to show me? No, no, no. I wanted to show you. Uh, so this this girl over here. Mm -hmm. Look at. There's no. The the bullets do go around her. They like. Huh. They just stop existing. The little. The little she devil. Yeah, that's the one that I was telling you. Uh, gave me the the death uh, tarot card. Yeah, she sits out in front of the kill count all the time and like. It does every. It's like it's become a tradition almost. Everyone believes in her tarot cards. Do you know what happened to her? Where she went? No, she went around the corner um, to get away from the fire. And after you guys were all kind of done, and there's no cameras down that that way, so I, I couldn't see her. I need a drink. Do you want a drink? We just. It's morning, and we had coffee just now. <laughs> I've been. Oh, I'll say it again. I've been awake. All night. I could tell. I'm gonna get a drink. 
Maybe you should go rest. I'm like breaking down uh, right now. <laughs> and she, it's just been, it's been <laughs> an intense few days. She comes in like for like a, a slow awkward hug at first. And then, just... <laughs> well, yeah, and then she goes in for like a real hug. <laughs> uh, and we're going to cut away from that for now. I sleep on her shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly. Uh, cool. What are you guys doing? I have two more modifications I want to make to Granda, which will take a few days each. Okay. Um, one is going to cost me $5,000, and that's to add another hard point support. So that's going to dig into the money I just got right away. Mm -hmm. uh, the other I can actually do as a mod instead of a fitting. Uh, so for only 600 I can get extra seating, which will increase crew capacity by four. Um, so with the hard point support, I can now install the mini ah. The minigun oh. that I ripped off the van can now be installed on Granda because of the hard point. And then okay. the extra seating. Did, I think you didn't you mention at one point you wanted you were thinking of upgrading like buying a new, the next level up vehicle or something, but like we would just upgrade but Granda? Yeah, but that's so much money. Oh okay, cool. Yeah, that's I'm not doing that right now. Um if we want to do that, you would have to like let us rob a huge bank and get a ton of money. I don't you not that we have tried, but you don't have to. I don't let you do anything. You can go do it all you want. Right, but I'm saying there would have to be an enormous sum of cash in our path for, awesome. us, for me to do that. But uh, for now, Queen Granda's crew is now six. Wow! So all of us plus Happy Cadet birthday. Willow. Oh wow! Will. And um, and I can install the minigun, which I haven't done yet, but I have the hard point support for. Awesome. Hmm. Uh, you can return to if you want. Yeah, but. Before Jubei returns, oh, okay. uh, uh, he's gonna give Master goes in a a Viking funeral in the in in the in the back of the dojo, and um, well outside. Okay, outside, well, outside. Yeah, and maybe I'm That's, not understanding yeah, a Viking funeral. No, but... Yeah, but no, Viking funeral is when you burn the. Guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I was like inside. And uh, Viking funeral requires water. Generally, yeah, you, you gotta put him on a boat and burn the boat. Oh, sorry. Uh, a Viking-like funeral. The yeah. Viking-like funeral, yeah. A pyre. A pyre. Yeah, a pyre. A uh, uh, Darth Vader uh, funeral. Yeah, Darth Vader funeral. <laughs> <laughs> You're really laying into the Sith references here. And uh, and he's just standing there praying. Uh, and I, I'm pretty sure Shin is there with him. Yeah, Sen, Sen is there too. Uh, and uh, and he... Master. Yeah. And then... <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> have you... I don't recall. Have you agreed to take him on yet, or no? Well, after he learned the final technique, um, Jubei's kind of like entire demeanor kind of changed at that moment. It's almost like, it's almost in like a weird cliche way. He kind of inherited a piece of the master's soul within him. Mm -hmm. So now he understands why it's so important to teach others. So right away, while he's doing this, he 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 kind of like pats shit on the on the shoulder and he says you will be my first student oh thank you so much master mm. i will not let you down he gives you like a little bow mm -hmm. I yeah. will, i'll do my very best every day mm -hmm. just and and, and Jubi says your first assignment is to Bring, uh, bring down the dojo, close it, make sure no one else can go in. And then he, uh, he's going to give him coordinates to uh, to the safe house. Yes, Mr. Mm -hmm. I will yeah. do as instructed. Uh, uh, meet, uh, meet me there. Okay. I, it might take me a minute because my hand is still recovering. <laughs> but uh, I will do my best. Mm -hmm. It will be done. You can count on me. Everything. Do you need your shoes polished or anything on your hand? He's like, no. <laughs> okay. And... Just make sure you don't forget what you saw today. Well, I I missed most of it, but yeah, I, I saw this part. Yeah. But yeah, I wish I saw it. Okay. It would have been cool. I'm sure it was awesome. Sorry, I don't mean to, I don't mean to talk about your master like okay. that. It was. And at the same time, Jubei is uh, texting uh, Akane, and he's at telling her to uh, meet him. 
As soon as possible. Uh, where? Um, from here on, until I get to the safe house. So anywhere in between. Okay. Um. Uh. So you start walking back, and um, she literally just meets like it's like leaning against a telephone pole on the way, mm -hmm. and starts walking with you. Mm -hmm. it's so cute. And yeah, she and she probably notices I'm carrying two swords now. Uh, yeah. So she's like, um, I think her arm's still in a sling, it's still healing. Uh, you look taller. Oh no, it's just the sword. You have another <laughs> sword. I see that. So, uh, this was Master Girls and Sword. Oh, so you, you did it. I am the new master of the Ghouls and fighting style. Your master goes. <laughs> well, well done. Um, do you feel different? Is it like, are you like super badass now? <laughs> like she gives a little punch. Right <laughs> and she's. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> like, he says. I do feel a bit lighter. I'm but sure that I weight think. was. A lot to carry. The the mm. anticipation can sometimes be very hard to carry around. Mm. But now I feel like I'm ready. The next time I face Kimbo, I will finish what I started. Cool. Uh, so what did you want from me? I want you... I want you to come with me. Oh, like, like as your bodyguard or something? No, as my partner. Well, you you know I work alone. I, I've been trying to get on the. I've, trying, I've been trying to get to the top, you know, three in the leaderboard solo because only two other people have ever done it. Once I'm finished taking down Kimbo, I am gonna have to make a new dojo. And I'm going to need help. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll connect. Mm -hmm. uh, give, do you, uh, well, do you say anything else too? She, she's looking a little on the fence. Um, you may well reference the photos in back of the Back of the dojo with Master Gozen and his and his wife, and how he, and you say they built that dojo together. I wouldn't want anyone else by my side but you. Okay. You're like taken back by sort of this like mm -hmm. life altering revelation. Um, I feel like I thought we were friends for. A, and we were competitive for a long time, and that was driving me a lot. I was always trying to get better than you. Um, go ahead and roll connect now. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and add uh, two. Not too bad. Four, five, six, seven. And uh, what's the charm? Uh, connect. Charisma. Charisma, right? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Eight. Eight. Okay. Uh, she thinks about it for a minute. Yeah, I think I'll find someone stronger. She starts walking away. Wait, I'm wait. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Did you add the plus two he gave you? Yeah. No. Oh, well, yeah, because I, I roll kind of low on the dice here. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's four, five, six. Seven, eight, seven, eight, no, no, yeah, yeah. you're good, you're good. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, she... She yeah she walks away and then is like I'm just kidding sure I'll come with you and mm. you know what worst case scenario it doesn't work out right and then I have to kill you. That is worst case yeah. scenario yes. Well this is the worst. You can get the golden fight. Then I can get the swords. No. Maybe. Oh, it works. Mm -hmm. He's the master. I'm just kidding again. Relax. Jeez Louise. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Jubei doesn't <laughs> relax. That is so, not no, happening. She's like the polar opposite. He hasn't relaxed yes. since the campaign started. Yeah. When was the last time you got a massage? You look very tense all the time. Like, have your muscles stopped clenching? That's this whole group. <laughs> yeah. 
Wow. You're the most relaxed mother. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you can help me with that once we get back to the to the hideout. I got one arm, but sure. Mm -hmm. I'll use my feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is good. All right. Um, so, yeah, she goes back with you. Um, okay. And Sen will be on his way eventually. Yeah. This tiny little... Yeah. I mean, it's like, How you... dare you invite people to my home? <laughs> Dude, just me coming back is such a big deal. <laughs> Do you people understand the meaning of safe house? Laying low. Um, so yeah, you do come back. Uh, and who's all here right now? Did you come back today? I'm guessing Razor probably <laughs> took me to the, to the safe house where everyone is. Yeah. So that's she, one more person. She's got her helmet on and her goggles on and you're like passed out on her shoulder. And she's yeah. like, can someone come take him? I think I he's all yours now, Razor. Oh, he weighs 120 million pounds. Yeah, it's all muscle. Imagine me getting it, him onto this bike. It isn't a lot of its cyberware. That's, yeah, so sure. So we have a little bit going on. How suave was Archie? Like, how 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 good was his game? We don't have a bet about that. We know he did not have game. <laughs> how good was his Riz? I had a bet on Oh. I, <laughs> I wake up to throw up. <laughs> It's it, been 10,000 years and it still hasn't gotten cool. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, uh, do you want me to roll for this? Yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. Did you bet high on him or low? Low. Low? I'll uh, be like, sure, why not? Nobody bet against you. I'm not going to bet. <laughs> I would bet you a cup of coffee. Uh, I guess. Coffee beans. Can I perform or connect? No, let's do perform. That he did okay. I don't bet that he did it, but I'll bet that Razor wants a second date. That'll be my bet. Razor <laughs> okay, will right. say yes to a second date. Uh, like are you rolling against me right now? I rolled a four. Yeah, I rolled a nine. A little bit. All right. I, I rolled a nine. Four. You rolled a nine? Uh, he did okay. Are you going to, uh, it, you think there'll be a second date? Yes, it's it's a good thing. Damn it! It's a good thing I already like. <laughs> How was the coffee at uh, Barnes and Hobos? Barnes and Hobos. It tastes like Hobos. Made it cheap. Oh, it's cheap. Hobos can make All some right. good ass coffee, dude. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Thailand, mm -hmm. I'll get you a cup of coffee from Barnes and Hobos. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she bounces, and, the, and then Jubei comes in with uh, with his two friends, and he says, "I'm back, friends." It's Nobody said the thing. <laughs> like, do we notice anything off about you? Um, you probably notice that he has two swords now. Yeah, I was gonna and, say and, that's and, the first thing out of Tyson said, Did you get another sword? And he says Yes. Uh this was, this was my master's sword. He gave it to you? In a way, he did. Son of a bitch, you killed him! <laughs> Rick, that's not what happened. We... He passed it down to me. No. You killed him! Rick, that's not what happened, happened. I'm sure. <laughs> what happened? He passed on his legacy to you and went into a... Are us and silent loners understand these things? Retirement? Well, I no, know Rick, I think Rick was right. Somewhere in <laughs> upstate where he can has lots of room to run. You, you may have a lot in common. You stole it, says Leo, but you miss cereal. He's building cereal. He always eats cereal. You would never steal from his master. Jube says, unfortunately, the only way to become a master of a sword style is to, is to defeat the previous master. And we all know what happens when these guys defeat each other. So the student has become the master. Congratulations, Master Jubei. When does the guy with no fingers get to kill you? Uh, I look over at Shen and he's like, he will decide that day. He's like, so Shen, when you look over- Don't do it, man. When you, <laughs> when you look over at him, his hands are wrapped and so he only has like a pinky. He's just like, <laughs> <laughs> but now but but and then and then Jubei says but now that I have the two swords of the elements I need to face Kimbo again and we'll get the last sword. That's the fire guy, right? Mm hmm You really got like a hard on for this sword. Well it's it belongs to our dojo. Wouldn't you want to retrieve something that belonged to you? 
It's also the first yeah. time in, in <laughs> like you would know that it's also the first time in like recorded history that the swords haven't been together. Yeah. Mm. The swords have been separated for a long time. So are you able to use one in each hand? Yeah. And, and, and Jube kind of unsheathes both swords for the first time. So wait, you got the lightning one and he's got the fire one. What's this one? This is, uh, and he kind of waves it as the air one. And, and like he waves a little bit and the whole room kind of breathes. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 but now, um, but now with this, I should be able to de defeat Kimbo. No, I was thinking I. Oh, uh, the. You might actually. Shoge, so Shoge Kahi, Kiha, Shoge Kia, Shockwave. Yeah. Uh, say it exactly. That's the name of the sword. Yeah. Wait, the name of the sword is Shockwave. Yeah. You can you can actually fight him. I know. Him I know. Well, you not any chance. Not because that's a thing you right. can do. You can Just... take whatever you want, actually. Okay. <laughs> I'm drawing that conclusion. That's pretty awesome. You I might... wonder if I could get a sniper rifle in each hand. You might. <laughs> so... What do you think? You drop me? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I put you down before. Oh, okay. <laughs> he isn't careful. It's like Jube says to Brick. Well, it's it's a little un unorthodox. You don't really see it much, but you could say if I do face him like this, it will be the element of surprise. Whoa. And that's it tonight, guys. <laughs> oh. uh, it's about this time you get a uh, a call, Damon. Um, or not a call, a text from Poseidon. Uh, all right, I'm getting antsy, and this guy's not going to live much longer, so... Yay or nay? Here's the deal. I'm a little um, short on cash flow. Would you accept a favor instead? Hmm. It's like the dotted lines. Uh, sure, I'll take a favor, but I still get to punch you. <laughs> Can I be reading over your shoulder? Sure. Come with and bring some lurch. Tylin? Helpful as ever, I see. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. I'm like an augmented Bless punch you. or unaugmented punch. <laughs> True, that's kind of what it is. That's it. I'm like, yes, but it has to be unaugmented. Sure. Fine. And then I'm like, hey, Brick. One of your uh, clans people is deathly ill. Someone has him and says that he has valuable information for us. You want to go check it out? When you say clans people, do you mean one of the Velasquez's or one of the Ermen? The latter. Okay, just so you know about how clans work, they're not my clan. The Velasquez's used to be, but I left them. It's oh. kind of racist, actually. My clan is actually <laughs> me and the truck right now. You guys can maybe join if you want to get out of the city, but... Uh, what and about Jim, that guy? Jim's on the waiting list, yeah. Oh, okay, Jim. Well, he's he's he's, he's waffling. He's half and half. Waffles um, is in? No, Waffles is not in. Okay. Uh, anyway, yeah. So, someone's captured an Urman again? Yeah, I think he w the Ur guy was part of the crew that Mox was probably dealing with. These are the guys that were coming after us instead of the guys that we were rescuing. Yes, and so... There was a car chase. I remember. I'm not yes. sure how much I, I trust driving. the information, but Poseidon, you might recall, we had dealings with this person a few episodes back. Uh, of episodes of our go, life. <laughs> 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 if we go, Poseidon's gonna punch Damon in the face. So it's dinner and a show. Or info and a show. So we're gonna go see Poseidon and he has a captured Urban she. She. from the crew that chased us? That's the assumption. Alright. I'm kind of covered in grease right now. Yeah, do you want a hand working on the, uh, working on the queen? 
Yeah, I'm, um, you know, Ty, I wouldn't let just anybody put their hands on my lady, but, uh, you know, you do a lot of things I wouldn't let just anybody do. Oh, oh. <laughs> Are you asking uh, him You're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, yeah, I'm installing the hardpoint support. and they, for making um, it weird. Every, right, every, so I will... every day that Ty helps you, yeah. is, it cuts a day off your time. Cool. It's and not that long anyway. If we're staying in hiding for a month, it's just it's a trivial amount of time. Awesome. Well, this is just a week, right? We well, we started day. at a week. This is this is the yeah, this is the last day of that week right now that okay. all this is happening. Right. Oh, I thought we were past the week now. I thought we started at the week. Yeah, it's I'm I'm paying every week, and I, I don't have enough. There's going to be a lot of problems. Okay, so yeah, well, we haven't done the whole month yet. We're just we we've done a week and no, out. no. Well, yeah. I thought we were moving into the month though. Anyway, yes, yes, we are. It's the okay. it's the second week basically right now. Uh, cool. So. What are you doing? Are you guys going to Poseidon? Or... Yeah, I'll go. Yeah. Is Jubei coming? Yes. All right. Is Akane and Shin coming? Uh, to where? The whole clan is coming. It, 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 uh, this place we're going to is the is the new uh, is the new hideout, right? No, we're meeting with an informant to have who might have more information on Shockwave Combine and the whole situation. No, Ju uh, Jubei will go on his own with this one. Well, no, actually, he'll tell he'll tell Shin to come with him. Yeah, Shin okay. will come with him. Do you want me to carry things for you? I can't. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll carry things for you to carry for him. Okay. But that's not it's my job. Mm. Right, but there's there's no law that says he can't get help, right? Well, actually. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so. Sorry, I don't want to be all, I'll carry the bags, but uh, I just thought, you know, uh, since he doesn't have hands. <laughs> Actually, you mind helping out Shin with that? Can you, can you help him out with his hands? Uh, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, can you lend him a hand? Get him uh, cyber hands or something? Yeah, like, prosthetic? give him some prosthetic fingers or something. Sure, so or have, take a look. So yeah, you're going to uh, have to good. pay for that kind of work. Yeah. So, and you can take it out of my budget. What what budget is that? <laughs> Put it on your tab, I think you mean? Did you inherit a bunch of money when you killed your master? Well, he has 16000 yeah. You'd realize so that when I heal you, that usually means you owe me money, not that I owe you money. Uh, Jimmy says, I would never, never, ever, ever not pay you. Well, I, it's it, it's included. It was not... It, it was... No, I wasn't trying to say that you owed me money. I was... That's what she. That's I what they were saying. <laughs> and you're like, in this case, I'm not paying. You. I'll say yeah. either way. You can't do it today because yeah, you're of course. Like, yeah, that yeah. takes time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kid, I'll I take take Archie a, awake. <gasps> just take <gasps> a quick look to see if. Uh, just do a quick heal check to see <sighs> if this is repairable or if this is going to require cybernetics. Sure. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Most of his fingers are fully off. I think he needs prosthetics. Uh, so that's going to be yeah. That's going to be a twelve. Fifteen. Uh, he'll check. Um, you could actually repair it with surgery. Yeah, you could. You don't yeah, even need a new hand. Welcome to the dark future. If he had, yeah. if he had the fingers, right? He didn't yeah, lose I'll... the fingers. I thought he cut off his fingers in the fight. No, he didn't use a blade, right? No, it it was more like a, it was more like a crush. Yeah, you, yeah. Oh, crush. I thought he, he had no fingers. He used the flat end of the blade. No, no, no. It was more like a like a. He he kind of hit him with the, like the back side of the blade. Yeah. Oh, I fully I, thought this yeah. dude was operating with just his finger. No, <laughs> no, his hands are wrapped up no, the, with the, just his pinky. Oh, finger. so he'll they'll get fixed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's just he need, he needs some bone alignment. Yeah. yeah. I thought you. Yeah, just, like, I let him know that uh, I'll be able to. Uh, he can decide if he wants. I mean, uh, it's surgery. permanent without surgery. Yeah. Or if he has the cash and he wants, you know, cybernetics, I'm. I can um, hook him up. I'll do a roll for that later. Yeah, he can he can think about it because I don't have time to do that yeah. right now. Okay, but I'll let him know it's very fixable and very. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I mean, why wonderful. are there people, more people in my house, and why is the house a mess? Because apparently you and Jube don't know the understand the term safe house and laying low, and secrets. Oh, no, no, that's fair. Razor Toad is all about it. That you shared. Am I getting a, a second date? <laughs> yes, you are, and I'm getting a cup of coffee. Try to Speaking not of which, should you bring all back the, the coffee? coffee. I, I got all the information that 
It was that a, means you didn't bring back the coffee, did you? He it. ate all the yeah. coffee. I texted and you three times. And then he went on a date. I was I was ignoring all of you because I I wanted I wanted to focus my attention <laughs> on the date. So sorry I didn't text you. You were right. I should have given him drugs. I told you. Mm-hmm. All right. But it was a lovely date. All right. She's so we're gonna woman. go pick up an ermine. Damon's going to get yeah. punched, and we need to stop on the way back to get <gasps> coffee. What Wait, can I punch her? Him? What was the name of the ermine? What? Like the, Are we punching the Damon? leader of that we game? Are. That guy's oh. dead. But what was his name? I think you have to give Damon an Bonk. ermine before Maybe. he'll Bonk. let you. You, you can certainly try, Archie. I can give you I half rem- ermine. Yeah, I remember Bobo. I don't, I don't think Brick is available to be given. Mm-hmm. That's fair. I, and I, I'm, you know, I don't know where Brick would lie out on this side of the question whether or not he would agree or not agree i'm sorry what's the what archie wants to give you to me no i it was mostly a joke i didn't actually mean any of it <laughs> it was a bad joke i'm gonna go sit down i'm not offended <laughs> i'm offended it's uh, <laughs> it's just one of those things that just doesn't compute in the first place so i'm not offended I wasn't insinuating that you were a permit. So, so are we going? Sh- 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 yeah, are we going? Sh- shall we go? Uh, bonk. It was bonk. Okay. Shall we go? Yeah, so this is one go. of Bonk's guys. Yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Um, cool. So how? Uh, just for saving time, you guys can meet Poseidon wherever you want. Um, and then, actually, if she chooses a location, uh, just a phone booth on a corner where she will then lead you guys to where she's keeping. Uh, so, when you guys get there, though, um, she's by the phone booth, um, trying to look normal, but she's what she, her hair's up, her, her except for her bangs, and like she's got like one of those armored trench coats, but like kind of skimpy clothes underneath, kind of traditional like player. I guess you, I don't know how else to say it. She's a, she's a player. The, she's a dealer, and she shows skin on purpose, mm. and you know it. You would know it. But she's looking good, and she's trying to. Uh, you walk up, and are you going to let her punch you? No, I want to see the information first. That's not how deals work. I'm not going to show you my cards until you pay for them. Also, who's this guy? Wow. Archie Carter, hi. You're amazing. I'm not gonna shake your hand though because last time one of your party touched me I had a very miserable day oh don't worry I don't finger people <laughs> no unless, reason not to unless shake her name unless her name is razor I'm com- very confused by that statement but uh fine you can see him but you can't Talk to him until I get my payment. Fine. Deal. I assume you don't want to shake on it, though. Oh, you. Oh, I'm gonna... Please uh, lead the way, Poseidon. Hey, 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 Ricky, get up here. One of the two scrawny guys from Borg comes up, <laughs> and he's like... Deal. Oh, he looks like deal. a nice guy. Deal. 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 I look at you, Archie. Oh! Deal. oh this, <clears throat> this is awkward. This is awkward. Hey, you're oh. a nice guy. I like you. Yeah. Nice guy. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Just so sweaty. Just listen to Poseidon, please. Oh. We do. We'll do. Hey, Ricky. Yep. Get out of here. Uh, you're not my boss. No. Yeah. I could be. This is this is my boss. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's like, all right, let's go then. Uh, and she takes you into like a little... It's a, it's like a trash. She moves one of those big rolling trash cans out of the way, and there's like a broken part of a wall that still has a net over it, and she like like a, a metal net that has to be like unscrewed. Um, and then she's like, "After you guys." I whispered to Juve. Actually, wait, I no. Have a bad feeling about this. I'm gonna go first, and she goes in first. Juve says, "Don't worry." Two swords, huh? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I go in for a fist bump. I roll a notice <laughs> check to see if there's anything off with this location in terms of, like, say, hidden ambushes or maybe, like, tripwires. Sure. Check the traps. Yes. Hell yeah. 
And I want to also do a hearing check to see if I could hear anything inside the warehouse. Like other people, like a lot of people or something. Um, okay, so I don't think I notice anything. That's a six. It seems like a shady alleyway with a shady entrance to a shady hole. Um, <laughs> as she's walking in, uh, uh, Ricky goes with her and she's like, to the other guy, Bobby, you stay out there and cover. Okay, and then I want to roll a hearing check. Okay. Actually, can I do the same? Sure. <laughs> that is a 11. Seven. Twelve, actually, with, if I add no notice. So I would yeah. like to come in too. That's going to be an eight for me. Okay. Join this. Who is coming in? Everybody? Everybody. We're all coming yeah. in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oral notice. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, that's going to be a thirteen notice. From the outside, other than the smell um, of the trash can and whatever other refuse is back here, um, and the homeless man that's like done, punched up in the corner, um, there isn't much, even with that roll, you feel pretty confident that you don't hear anything. You guys don't see anything that looks suspicious, other than the fact that it's a hole in a wall in a, like, it's been, it looks like it's going into the under the deck or under the floor level of a building. Mm. Like the part where no one goes unless you're going to fix pipes or electrical work. Okay. I just have my hand uh, resting on my gun as we continue forward. Damn! <laughs> she definitely notices that. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, cutie. I won't kill you. Like that she's sexualizing me so much. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Have I had the opportunity to refresh my med kit at cost? Um, I was out of lurch. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's kind of a little bit of a retro, but just to say, I've. Yeah. We went back yeah, to the lab. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Because yeah. okay. right. you would have sent Leo to go get. I was. I did. Yeah. I did go through. Yeah. They stripped out all my stuff. I got my drugs back. Okay. Is there a bathroom around here that I can use? I've been drinking a lot of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> You're in an alleyway that is already very gross. I mean, go Archie, behind. just don't do that while we're all having behind a meeting here. Just don't go behind my trash can. Go behind a different trash can, please. I mean, we've been hearing you tooting all this time, oh, so... Like, every step. It's Guys, kind of... we're in a business meeting. You're right. <laughs> I literally eat bugs, and I know you guys are fucking up right now. Chewie says, oh, I haven't you eaten anything. bugs. <laughs> I have to, yeah. It's kind of, I, I, from beyond the edge, we eat lots of things you guys don't have here. Do you, do you ever need, like, stuff for beyond the edge? I can get you stuff. Um, I mean, I tend to take care of myself, but, uh, what kind of stuff are you talking about? Actual food, um, tools, parts. Really? I'm a getter. I might hit you up about parts sometime. Okay. Let me know. For example, earlier today I installed a modification that requires a part I don't have. Let me know. I think I can find it for you. All right. Um, I'm assuming you're following her when she's talking to you. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, she's just picking her head out the hole and you guys are just still waiting outside. Yeah. No, we're yeah. following. Yeah. We're following. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. By the so, way, that's real. Uh, mechanically, the power system upgrade that I wanted requires one special tech. Vague. You can decide what it is and how I get it. Great. Um, uh, you can talk with her later, actually, yeah, about that. Okay. Presented itself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. So she leads you guys down a uh, like like a makeshift tunnel where it's every once in a while there's just a hanging light bulb, you know, like that she probably put in or one of these guys put in. Yeah. And then she gets to a door where um, it's a reinforced door that looks like. It used to be a heater or like a mm -hmm. wood burning old wood burning room or something. And she's like, okay, you can peek in and you can see him, but nothing else until I get my payment. Who are we Go seeing? Ahead. Who are we seeing again? So she opens up the door and you peek in and you see in a dark room with just a light over him, a very, very injured ermine who's got a lot of really dry blood on him at this point because it's been like a week. Um, just sitting there. 
uh, but he's like hunched over. Mm -hmm. You can kind of tell. You can tell he's breathing mm -hmm. though. It's not like he's dead. Okay, I'm like. She closes it. Okay, a deal's a deal. This information better be good. Um. Great. Uh, so she like winds back. You ready? Do you want to take your glasses off? I, I'm not. I'm. I could be a gentleman about it. I just look at you. Okay. And she like swings and hits you. No. Uh, no. It's just an automatic two damage. Ah, oh, wow. I haven't punched anyone in a while. God, that was a good crack too. Yeah, that yeah, that was my hand. Ah, oh, yeah. Gaming you good? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you felt it. I mean, it hurt a little bit. Good job, Chris. Um it's still standing. Yeah, you stand your feet. Nothing to be <laughs> with a scratch. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay, that felt good. Alright, cool. Uh we're even then. So the favor is payment for this. That was pretty even. Uh, cool. So she opens the door. Do you want to just get whatever information you guys want yourselves? Or shall I tell you what we've already got from him? Or how do you want to do this? Summarize your information. Um, apparently they escaped from a place and they were desperately trying to get to the Granda because they heard my advertising, I guess, and thought something else, maybe. I don't know. Um, they reached out to me from somehow from there, wherever. I don't even know how they did it. Uh, and then that's when you guys showed up, and I thought you were them, him, for a minute. That's like kind of all I got. Um, so I need to roll something. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm trying to decide what Brick needs to roll to not lose his shit over someone mistaking him for an Ermac. Uh, you can do a save. That's good. A yeah. save, yeah. Mental um, save, maybe? Mental uh, save. Yep, 100% mental. I grab her. Oh, God. Oh, God. And I pick uh, her up off the ground and I say, I am a human Man. And I set her down. Oh, God. Uh, Got it? Yes. Um, I, I didn't ever, I never said you weren't. I mean, I didn't know, I didn't know what they looked like before. Walk away. Okay. She like backs up. This guy is really got a winner here. I'm going to look in the room. What do I see? Ah, uh, you see uh, an ermine sitting tied up on a chair in an empty old dusty furnace room that has awake? one light. Uh, you can't tell from here. He, his head is hunched over. I'm going to walk in, and I'm going to close the door behind me. Oh, wait. I'm coming in with you. No, let me... Mm, if you... Mm, you might need me. I'm going to close the door. No, 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 I got punched in the face for this. I'm going in. You guys can come in a second. And I'm going to walk up to the guy. I'm just going to give him his time. He's fine. Yeah, you guys might want to give him his time. He looks a little angry. So while he's doing that, I'm do like, they know each other? Are I'm they... like, do you know where he escaped from? Did you, were you able to extract that? No, we were almost there, and then we decided that he probably would die if we keep torturing him. So we should probably have you guys come in and talk to him. Yeah. Also, for your safety, quit it with uh, making remarks about him and uh, the Oh, is that that's what he was mad about? I, I had no idea he was actually like. Or keep making the jokes. That also works. No, I I, I, I was confused for a second. Because I... Anyway, we should probably let him do his thing. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to sit down opposite him. I'm picturing something kind of like a police interrogation room from the TV. Where there's a table with two chairs. Is that what we're looking at? No, it's literally <laughs> um, his chair, a light above him. So kind of like an interrogation room. Okay. Uh, but there's no room. other furniture except like a wooden crate that... Somebody was probably sitting on it. Okay, then I'll sit on the wooden crate and I'll just look at it him. It creaks Does, as, you, as you settle down on it. Yeah. Does um, he look awake? Uh, yeah, at this point when, when you sit down and he hears the, the creaks, he looks up slowly, his eyes full of rage and anger. Why are you in that chair? That's a dumb question. Why are you in that chair? I don't understand. 
Yeah, I get that a lot from you types. Do you want to be in that chair? Of course not. Then why are you still in the fucking chair? My... My body don't work. Let me ask you something else. On the scale of... Ermine, who would you say is the strongest? I'm the strongest. Then why are you still in the chair? Uh, he's gonna have to make... I think he's gonna try. <coughs> Uh, he's pretty much paralyzed from the accident. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I rolled a I think nine. Rick doesn't know. No, he doesn't. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ooh, uh, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll first a physical save to see if he can even try. I'm. Can I roll a notice check to see if Brick can tell that he's doing that? Yeah. That crit failure. Okay. So he literally can't even try to get he, out. He of can't the even try to get out. Do I have to roll a check for this? No, I feel like you, no, Rick you, would no. just see yeah. that he's not yeah, moving he his body. Play. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to say... You can see in his face that he's trying to... At that point, I think my... Because I can see he's tied, but he's not even like twitching his hand trying to move. No, he's not at all. In fact, probably the reason why the interrogation didn't do so well is because all the, he couldn't feel the torture. Mm. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna, at, then I'm gonna look down at all the wounds on his body and I'll look back up and say, All right, listen. I think you're right. I think you are the strongest Ur man. And I think you already proved it. <coughs> now I have some questions to ask you, and so do my friends. But after that, I think we can get you out of here. Now, your body's not going to work ever again. Do you want me to take you home? Or do you want me to send you to Throck? He snarled a little bit. And just... Well, I'm going to do that. And I'll tell you what, you want to do something for me in exchange? You spit in that motherfucker's eye. Hmm. I'm going to open the door. Mm -hmm. He's paralyzed. Mm -hmm. I was trying to listen in. On oh, the that's why he was holding up so well. And No, you're <laughs> lucky he's paralyzed, trust me. Okay, well, we put like 15 handcuffs on him, but I guess... Yeah, he would have broken those if you hadn't broken his spine. I I think it it may have art. I don't know. Just shut up. Okay. Don't really care sorry. who did it. Sorry, but sorry. that's the reason you're alive. Okay. That's good to know. He's not a friend of mine. But just be aware. If you ever see one like him again, get somewhere else. But they're not the deal making type? Nope. <sighs> hmm. Now I want to challenge. Now I want to try. <laughs> Your funeral. Uh, cool. So you guys going to go in? Or... Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to close the door. Okay, I just... <laughs> I'm going to stay outside now. Oh, okay. No, no, I'll stay. I'll think about it, but I'll stay in. It's, okay. yeah. yeah, I'll go in with you. Yeah, I, I wait for you before I... I'll, I'll wait. Jubay's inside. I'll wait in the back, because he knows me now. Jubay's hanging out on, on the side wall inside. I... It's like touch your shoulder, squeeze it. I'm like, hello, er, er, fellow. My name is Damon. May I have the honor of knowing your name? You look like. Where's the other guy? I'm back here. Oh, I'm like dark. I can't see very well. I'm like looks can be deceiving. You actually do know, maybe you know, you might notice that they, he is talking more coherently than some women do, I guess. I'd like to walk around behind him. Okay. Do I see any implants in the back of his head? Um, it's low light. 
You're not a doctor, so give me a. I'll use my phone to. Well, okay. <laughs> they, okay. and then give me a note. Um, give me just a note check to see if you can. Look it's going to be the so first bad. thing I look for too. Okay. I can assist or I can do the roll. Um, you want to? Well, I want to look without saying anything. So okay. Okay, I did roll uh pretty well. So that's a ten. My notice is zero. If uh, can I use intelligence for this? Yeah. Then it's twelve. Okay. Um, you can't see anything on the surface except layers of scar tissue that have very interesting patterns like they're not scalpel scar t or like medical cuts they're like how do i describe it almost like a lightning bolt went across the skin and left a scar that looks like it mm -hmm. i'm gonna see it well I carry it around thanks under the fur and everything so but there's no actual tech in there not that you can see from above mm -hmm. the skin or not 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 on the surface, no. I will oh. park the fur a little and see if I can see any more. Yeah, no, I mean, you There's can't see anything. It's yeah, you just see all the scars. Yeah. Uh, I grab... Um, so if the scars are at all visible to me, probably not, but I'm still going to show some some empathy um, and kind of stoop down to where uh, he's at, pull out uh, a granola bar. Uh, not sure if you're hungry. Um, here you go. He's tied to a chair and paralyzed. They only eat meat. I... Sometimes potatoes on special occasions. We did find cheese in that truck, and I liked it. Oh. Well, oh, cheese, that's mm -hmm. kind of like meat. Uh... I'm like, Tylen, what's the situation? You okay with Parmesan? Have a... Oh, it's a Parmesan. Oh, well, you're gonna like it. <laughs> He almost takes off his <laughs> While Archie is uh, doing that, I would like to do a, 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 I don't know if this is a heal check or a no check. Either one <laughs> or maybe a stabilize is good check. with me. With the, I never got to dig in, yeah, no pun intended, to, to the Bobo, yes, to Bobo's head that you brought me, but I have seen. Yeah, we haven't had a week off. What yeah. it looks like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Until now. I think, yeah, I'm sorry to say, I don't think I brought Bobo's head with me. Damn it. Unless you asked you? me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's still in my clinic. It's still in the remains of my clinic. Uh, <laughs> you mean this head? <laughs> if, you, <yeah. laughs> if you did, if you did. Tell them to grab the head as well. They would have packed it for you too. Yeah. Well. Anyway, at this point, we can talk about that later. Yeah. Yeah. That's later. But is this a heel check or a no check? To see see anything. I am. Yeah. I am looking specifically for same thing you are for implants, and I'm looking knowing that what this looks like on Bobo, and knowing your scarring. Yeah. And maybe. Yeah. yeah. Maybe see if he's paralyzed due to like a spine break or because of what's in him. You could yeah. pick that's either good. one. I'll take heel. Whatever's whatever's higher for you. Oh, Ooh, double double sixes. Sixes. nice. Wow. Okay. okay. So, so double sixes plus four. Yeah, you. So Ooh, yeah. One T. Yeah. No, that's no, that's 18. sixteen. Yeah. Double six, twelve it's plus late. four right. is sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> A billion. Uh, either way, it's was that forty? <laughs> this was I'm a, just trying to help you. <laughs> this was a pretty hard check, and you still got really good. Um. Uh. So you. You're kind of examining and you know what to look for mm -hmm. uh so you kind of like when you when you see him kind of look up at you because you move like um he, every time someone moves his eyes go to you like you know that's still a like primal <laughs> instinct to yeah um he, uh you move in a way that the light catches his eyes and there's a glint behind his pupils at one point mm. and you know that that is a sign that there is some internal hardware yeah okay I look, yeah, I look over to you and just give you the, the nod. Um, with Thanks that, for the numbers, Carlos. With that roll, uh, <laughs> with that roll, friends. I will also give you, um, uh, you can't More know for sure or 100%, but you can kind of, you're judging by the wounds and, and kind of where the break is mm -hmm. or the, the, the full body paralysis is, you can assume uh, that it was from the accident. Okay. So, Rick, he seems to respond to you more. Can you ask him if he knows where he got those injuries? I can hear you. Yes, can you but you don't him? seem to like me. 
Um, you also notice, I think, that the only reason he's talking so slow and calm is because he's so fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. He's, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, can you answer his question? Sure. Do you remember the people who did this to you? Who took you away? Cowards. We know they were cowards, that's obvious, but did you catch names, symbols, anything? I don't know the area very well, but there was a place we were taken to. Whispers in the whispers. That's what you call it, right? That's what the driver called it. Yeah. You know the city. The, the, what? The city of the whispers? The city at all. Oh. They don't live in here, usually. No. We were only here because we escaped. Okay. Give me a second. Ty? Mm hmm I'd like to take Ty outside just for a second. Yeah. Oh, pull the oh, door closed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I keep feeding him. I can't say this in front of him because it's considered... Should I not be here? She's still waiting. It's fine. It's okay. fine. I can't say this in front of him because it's considered a feminine trait and it might make him angry. Uh-huh. He's way too smart. Oh. Wait, I'm sorry. Are you saying that intelligence is... Being smart is a feminine trait that would be offensive? Amongst okay. the Ur, the Ur men are strong, the Ur women are smart. The, he's remembering place names. He's speaking coherently. It's very uncommon. He's speaking almost like a human. Usually only the Ur women do that. And they definitely don't use articles correctly. I'm going to table some other questions I have for later. I say looking over at Poseidon. She's okay. smoking. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure she is. Uh, <laughs> we established that canonically. Uh, but Just say, wait. look, there is... My point is... Yes. I think he's been modified. He has. I can confirm that. He has something... He has some sort of wear in his... Um, he has some sort of brain wear behind his eyes. I couldn't tell you what it is, short of digging in uh, and finding it for myself. Um, but yes, he has absolutely 100% been modified. I can tell you that whatever happened to him, the the thing that left him like this, it's not from cyberware. It's it looks like it came from. It looks like he was injured in the accident. It looks like a clean, unfortunate, but. but break uh due to hard you know due to blunt trauma uh that's what i figured mm -hmm. but you know he's absolutely got some sort of mental wear going on up there okay well he won't be afraid of death he'll be much less afraid of that than he will be of paralysis well, i don't know if he understands paralysis but he knows his body's broken mm -hmm. i told him that if he answered our questions we'd kill him Kind of saw where this was going, but yeah. It's what um, he wants, Ty. I understand. It's... Yeah. I... Are you asking for my help? No. I'll do it. Or Jubei. He might like that. But... <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't phrase that to him like that. No, I mean, but... the Urman might like it. Oh, okay. Because of the sword. They have a thing about thunder. Oh. Um... That's true. And he did see you use it. It's important mm -hmm. that we know who did this to him because they're going to keep trying. They did it to me years ago. They did it to Bobo. Now they did it to Bonk and his whole squad. Mm. They're capturing Ermin and experimenting on them. Oh, heavy. Sorry. You know, if you're going to be here, just keep it down, all right? Okay. All right. Yeah. What can I do to help? Ty, I have a complicated relationship with these people. Mm -hmm. I don't like them or anything they stand for. But I am related to them. Family's and I'm not okay with what's happening. We gotta stop it. Okay. 
Right. While that conversation is happening, Damon's asking, how did they capture you and your people? He stops taking the food. Army with long, cowardly weapons. Did you, were they wearing any symbols? Uh, kind of hard to see at that distance. We'll come back in one more time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Though I will say before we come back in, I will say to you very quietly, if you can grab, look, um, we should bring at least his head with us after you do it. Here it ends. Do base job then. Um, he does eventually describe a, uh, symbol he did see in the structure that they took him to um which is the shockwave so. <sighs> ah, okay. okay now you said that the location you're held in was in the whispers yeah in fact i could tell you exactly where i was really yeah i don't, I don't know why i know this or how it's like i just know and he gives you like he doesn't he doesn't know an address, obviously, but he gives you a backwards to like he takes the route he took backwards to, and tells you that exactly what that route was. So you can follow that. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, Archie, mm -hmm. take a look at the uh, at your map. Yeah, yeah. Uh I put it up uh, on my Pfizer. Okay. You don't need a roll. Uh because you just figured this out earlier it lines right up with where that airship was hovering. Yep. Mm, uh, yeah. That's what I That's what I was telling you guys. Yep. Uh, maybe. I don't know exactly what I was telling all you guys. All coming together. Yeah. Um, all coming together. What if they're using the embryo? A thing of, like, genetic perfection. Messing with ermine. A thing that's not... At least, you know, physically, genetically perfect, Archie. but strong. What if they're combining That's rude, that? dude. I'm but Archie. Strong, sir. Yeah, exactly. Do we know? Let's. Do we know that embryo is actually genetic perfection and not maybe an er embryo that they're trying to control to be more malleable? Oh. Did it look we don't simian know. in any? It looked like an embryo. Yeah, Archie, I don't think it's you can the... tell. Yeah. Oh. It's That's microscopic. I told you that we couldn't do any experimenting on it without spending money. And unfortunately, we just ran out of time. Yeah, we did. We don't have any information and we don't have the embryo. We do have information. Mm -hmm. Whoever these people are, whatever they're doing, it involves experimenting on unborn children and torturing primals. We have to kill them all. Do you know how big Shockwave Combine is? It yeah, might not even massive. be the whole corporation. It could just be a side okay, branch I didn't or a research mean the whole division. Corporation. I meant or... everyone involved with the bullshit. Yeah. By the way, do we know what a description of Mox looks like now? You guys all met him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we did. Okay. He was a short guy. Short guy with the That's slick right. black hair. Little and... man, big job. Yeah, little man, big job. Black pupils, very creepy kind of yeah, weird as, guy. As much as I would love to say that there's redemption in people, I don't. I'm having difficulty uh, finding any good with these people right now. I'm gonna sit back on the crate. I didn't ask your name. Gonk. 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 If your body worked, what would you do to the people that did this to you? It wouldn't exist anymore. I'll take care of that for you. Is there anything else you want to tell me before I take care of that other thing? They put stuff in us. But it only works if they're electrocuting us the whole time. 
What did they put in you? With a rock. The rock? A rock? What did they put in me? I don't know. When they were electrocuting you, where did they attach you to the rock? What part of your body? I think. Jubei? Mm. Show him. Show him what? Show him the lightning. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, so Jubei kind of walks up to him and he unsheaths his lightning sword and he kind of points the lightning towards him. Mm. Mm. Gonk, Jubei here is the sword bearer of Throck. Now he's going to kill you so that you can go meet Throck and also so we can take your head with us and study it. But before he does, good to be honest. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see what happens if he electrocutes you. I need your permission to ask him to do that. Strong as her, do your worst. Okay, so with that, Jubei raises it, raises it, and he comes down. And you just see a big flash of, of uh, lightning go straight into his chest. It's just, uh, yeah, it's like it's it's a small room, so it's really fucking loud, and you can smell the the carbon burning and everything or whatever. Uh, God, and his muscles tighten up, but you can't tell if it's like him doing it or if it's the electricity doing it. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, and he and he 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 does look like he grows almost. His eyes do illuminate um, with almost a red tint to him, and he he does snap out of the, the cables, but oh. he, he still or the chains. <laughs> but he's um, his feet are still tied down, and he doesn't break those. Um, and then it stops, and he's singed a little bit, and his body doesn't work again. I'm gonna hold up the broken chain in front of his face. Strongest ever, man. It's strong. See you never. Cut his head off. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so Jubei just so. <laughs> yep. Clean cut. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Yeah. And that uh, sounds yeah. like. Unless you guys have anything else right now, that sounds like a great place to end. Yeah. 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 Yeah, All right. Well, that was dark. Wow. Yeah. So yep. A little bit of a dark episode. That was Sorry, gruesome. Yeah. There was a couple <laughs> things. A lot of deaths happened. Yeah. But, uh, a lot of comedy, a lot of death. A little bit of everything. I Either hope. way, we yeah. added a lot of things. Very good. <laughs> but, but first things we first. Get our, yeah. Next week, we got to we gotta, right. we gotta examine the head, right? That's and right. Bobo's. Both oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bobo. Thank All right. Thank you, everyone. We'll Thank see you next week. Thanks, Carlos. What is for now going to be our final episode? Uh, before we go back, one to more week to Arconia Fest. Arconia Fest! Yeah. yeah! And during Arconia Fest, we'll be back to Worlds Without Number for episode 27 of that campaign. I don't remember anything that happened in that game. Oh, my God. <laughs> let's go. We'll recap it. All right. See you guys then. Bye. Bye. Bye.